counting. He's counting backwards. Something must be about to happen. I spat all in my beard. Yeah. Hello, boys and girls. How are we doing? Welcome to the pre-stream stream. This is where the cool kids hang. Don't worry. You're early. You've got five minutes before the stream starts. We're just going to hang around and have a little bit of a chat before we get to seven o'clock and get on with some football manager. Obviously, I've got some stories to tell. If you follow me on Twitter or follow my vlog, you know the shenanigans that have gone, these, gone on these last couple of days. If you don't follow me in either of those places, ooh, ooh, something happened. Big Mike, thank you very much for 14 months. I'm, I'm jumping straight over to the, um, not to the game, don't be ridiculous, but to my Twitter to show you what I posted yesterday afternoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, I think we're going to need to boost the system volume a little bit before we uh, before we play this. I need you to hear what was said. At this moment, at, what was this? 11.04 yesterday morning. I have this camera now, Kev. 11.04 yesterday morning. I was more stressed than I felt in a long, long time. Wait for it. I actually cannot believe this has happened. The guy who cuts the grass has just been around and he's cut through the internet cable. We have no internet. Genuinely don't know what we're gonna do. Boys and girls, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh, that's that might have come through as loud because I hadn't quite lowered the volume in time. Content, Kev, thank you. Um, who's this? Hyper Proton. Thank you very much. Two months. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, yeah, so this well, this time yesterday we did have internet again, but yesterday morning, you know I've got the mystery the mystery gardener. He just cuts the grass every two weeks and I don't know where he's from. I kind of do know where he's from. I figure it's the it's the housing estate, the builders who built this estate, because we're on a newish build estate. Um I mean, it's like 10 years old, but I guess it just, it's still a bit new and there's still houses being built over one end of it. So they're trying to keep it looking nice. So everyone's front gardens get kept, get maintained for them. I have to cut my own grass in the back garden like a caveman. Um, but he came around yesterday. I didn't actually see him do it. So it might not have been him, but there was lots of shredded cable on the freshly cut grass. So yeah, about half past 10, 11 o'clock yesterday morning, just cut through the fiber and um we had no internet and i didn't know what was gonna happen i didn't think we'd be able to get it sorted as quickly as we did as it happens open reach in particular but bt were helpful as well but open reach really went above and beyond and had someone out by one o'clock it was absolutely insane they um i'll say this on stream i didn't want to put this in the video because i didn't want to drop the drop the lads who came around in it but they knocked on the door the first thing they said to me because it was the guy who came around way back in october to try and fit it in the first place and told me it couldn't be fitted first thing he said when i opened the door so how have you got two hundred thousand subscribers on the internet then <laughs> that's why they were here <laughs> that's why they rushed out um yeah they, apparently it was the social media team so the the welfare team in bt were trying to prioritize it meanwhile the social media team of OpenReach had um had got a hold of it and got it done quicker than the welfare team of BT had managed to. So, yeah, I managed to use the don't you know who I am inadvertently and we got it sorted. So thank you to OpenReach. Thank you to BT. We are resolved. We have internet again. It has my seal of approval. Nice. Oi, 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 oi. How are we all anyway? Is everybody good? We all had a good, a good couple of days. It is Tuesday, by the way. You might think it's Wednesday, but if you look at my stream schedule for the week, I'm streaming Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday this week. So this is Tuesday. So I couldn't stream yesterday because with all that going on yesterday during the day, I had to do the work I was going to do during the day yesterday, last night. So I'm sat there at 10 o'clock last night recording the Bourne Transfer Special. But it's been a nice relaxing day today. It's been much better. Ah, did I complain to the company the garden works? Well, I don't know who they are. No idea who they are, how to get hold of him. He certainly didn't hang around. I don't know if we're the last garden he cuts on our housing estate. But as soon as I noticed it happened and walked around the block, their van was nowhere to be seen. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We're probably the last house. And they didn't cut through the wire, realise what they'd done, and then leg it. 
<laughs> it couldn't have been that. We were just the last house. Jamie, thank you very much for the sub. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, let's get into some football manager. We've got a cup final coming up tonight. That's the wrong button, Kev. That, that, that's the one you want. There we go. We have a cup final. This camera now. I need to put a blanket over that one when I switch cameras. It gets too confusing. I uh, say so thank you to your followers for spam tagging. Oh, yeah, exactly. Everyone did their bit. We certainly got their attention quickly. It is much appreciated. Um, but, yeah, we've got a cup final. If you've not been in this save, this is, I think, the third or fourth stream we've done on this save. Um, we loaded up a whole load of leagues. I can show you the leagues that we loaded up just to give you the quick story of the save. Um, we loaded up a whole load of leagues that we'd never played in on YouTube or Twitch before. Started unemployed. Wait to see where we'd end up. We were offered a few jobs at the same time, but the most interesting one was Smorgan in the Belarusian second tier because they have a great badge. And their nickname is the Bears. We got promoted at the first time of asking last year, despite taking over mid-season when the team were in the bottom half because I'm that good at football manager. But we've also got the Belarusian Cup, which is a weird thing. Oh, Anna's here. Hi. Anna trapped her hand in the door earlier and has now fallen out of it. Why are you still messing with it? You'll trap your fingers again. Have you come to show your fingers? No! no. Oh, we're just going to flip everybody <laughs> off. Oh, God. We're family friendly here, Anna. Show them your finger the other way. Look, like she's got a black, a black toenail on her hand. Yeah, don't punch the microphone. You've just burst everyone's eardrums. I have no feeling in my finger. Well, it still has an impact if you punch the microphone. <laughs> Apparently, you're the best streamer in the family. I assume they're talking about you. Oh, what are you? <laughs> um, you I can't remember what I was saying. I was introducing the save before I was rudely interrupted. You're all right. You don't have to leave. Right. She's hurt her fingers, so she trapped him in this door. Anna, just open the door a little bit and let go of it from inside the room. That's outside. That's outside the room. I said from inside the room. Why so you could react to it. It's one of those doors that slams itself shut. So she had her hand in the door frame and it slammed shut on her fingers. Ow. Actually, it's a good question, Anna. Have you got affiliate yet? Have you checked Twitch this I, afternoon? I don't know how to do it. Have you checked your dashboard? I, There's probably I, I, a button saying apply for affiliate I, now. We'll have a look after the stream. We'll come and figure it out. Don't go to bed until after I'm done. We'll get your application in tonight. Um, because I think she's streaming again tomorrow. I didn't ask her. She might be streaming again tomorrow. It'd be nice. It'd be nice for her to have affiliate by then, so you can all throw money at her. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the cup in Belarus is weird because we started playing in this cup last season. So that's us playing in the first round back in June. Um, we got through the second and third round while we were still in the second tier, which is called the first league. Of course, it is. And um, then we secured our promotion. And the last set, of, the last thing to do pre-season before the league started was the quarterfinals, then the semi-finals, and we now have the final. The only problem is the final is against Shakhtar Solyagorsk, who just so happened to be the best team in the league. They won the league last, last year. They're top of the league so far this season. It's the first time we've faced proper difficult opponents. So I don't think we're going to win it, but we're playing that in a couple of games' time. Before that, we've got a couple more league games. We've actually started the season quite well. We're up in sixth, pl uh, fifth place. So we've potentially got two routes into Europe this season. It's a short season. It's only a 30-game season. We've got a long way to go in the league. But we could get there through the league. We could get there through winning the cup. Either way, Europe would be lovely, lovely, lovely. Waylands, thank you very much for the sub. Lovely. Did I say... Yeah, I did thank Jamie, didn't I? Thank you, thank you. I thank you all. Is this a journeyman save? No. We, I, I mean, we started it with no real plan in mind. But then this, like, if you've seen their badge and they're called the Bears, I think we're just going to stay here. And especially because you lot have told me that Zealand won the Champions League with a Belarusian club with Barte. Did it take him 12 seasons to win it with a team that's already the second best in the entire country? So I'm going to win it quicker than he did with a team that starts in the second tier just to once again hammer home that I'm better at football manager than Zealand is. That's that's now the goal of the save. Kev, just better than Zealand. Again. Again. Just got back from my drum lesson. What's going on? Um, nothing really. We've not played any games yet. Anna just showed us her poorly finger. I've told the story about the internet being cut off. Other than that, 
Nothing much has happened. Ten seasons, I think he won it with Bate. Well, we'll do this. We'll do it in nine then. Easy work. Easy peasy. And under the pollen take. Never you mind. About 20 years. About 20 seasons with a pollen. And they're a bigger club. In a better league. And it was really, really hard. And we had way more money because we sold Ryan Lawson that first season in the top flight for 5 million. So we were juiced financially in a better league with a better team. And it took, I think it was actually about 18 seasons with a pollen. So, <laughs> I'm set, I mean, I've set myself a challenge. We'll see. Ten, after 10 seasons, we'll just kill the save. It's a 10 season save whether we win the Champions League or not. We'll see how close I get in those 10 seasons. Joined a new gym, got access to a personal trainer and physio room. Splendid. Weren't you saying the other night you couldn't ever go to the gym again? Or was that somebody else? How to get a shout out, work for open reach and fix Kev's internet. I mean, yeah, it's pretty simple. I did ask them if they wanted to be in the video, but they didn't want to be. I, was, I would have happily had them as the stars of the thumbnail. They were absolute heroes coming out as quickly as they did. Saved our bacon, that's for sure. 20 years is about what it took me to take a team from the third tier of Norwegian football to Champions League on FM20. Yeah, I think 20 years is more realistic. That's the thing. I say I'm going to do it quicker than Zealand. I'm doing that very tongue-in-cheek. He took the biggest team in the country or the second biggest team in the country. That would be like me winning the Champions League with Olympiakos in 10 years and calling that an achievement. It's not really. It's not the same as doing it with Apollo. So we, we can start the clock when we win the Belarusian League maybe. As soon as we've won this league, then we can say, right, we're as big as Barté now. Now we start the clock. But we might do it. Who knows? We could do it in 10 years. We've had a very solid start. If we qualify for Europe this year, that's that's pretty impressive from where we were. Because we this is our first full season. If we're, if we're saying 10 seasons, this counts as season one as far as I'm concerned. Because last year, we joined them halfway through the season and they were they were down in the close to the relegation zone. So this is season one. So the clock the clock starts from there. <laughs> uh I'm not I just I'm having fun with it. It's a fun save so far. C Tierney, thank you very much for the sub. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What did you all think of the um of the brand deal that I did on YouTube today? I've not had anyone say they hated it, which I guess means it went down really well. Um, I hope everybody has downloaded the game. We should put that on a command on here, really. Even if you don't play it, you should download it and have a little look at it. Because that encourages them to keep giving me money. In fact, we should take the pizza thing off. We need to, I just need to shuffle some commands. We need to take the pizza command off that's done now i don't know i don't think the results have been announced yet but i don't think you can i don't think votes are being counted anymore i'm not sure i'm I'm talking as if i have any idea i don't have any idea i've not checked but i'm up against tubes in my group in that off of soccer am so there's absolutely no way i'm getting through to the next round anyway. we didn't win it. right shut up past kev let's just whack this command in why am i on Streamlabs? i don't use Streamlabs. stream element so that's what we want to use and then we're just going to sneak in a little i'll only be a minute doing this boys and girls i should have done this before the stream but got uh gotta pay them bills and all that um super get rid of where it says enter a message and whack that on Turn off the timer for the pizza because we don't need that anymore. It sounds like I'm making dinner here. And then add a custom command as well for anyone. So, Super Club Soccer. Go download it now, boys and girls. Exclamation mark. Super Club, Super Club Soccer. We try it. Exclamation mark. Super Cl Club Soccer. It's hard to spell. There we go. So now you can do super. You can get, why have we not got music on? Whose idea is it to turn the music off? Would I ever consider doing a YouTube save with an old CM game? No, because no one would watch it. 
people would watch episode one and get really nostalgic and by episode five no one would be watching so no afraid not how was my youtube course today pretty boring if i'm completely honest wasn't the best one i've done i've done a couple of them virtually now they've started doing them again the last couple of couple of weeks couple of weeks having not really done anything over the last year i i enjoy going to them in person i've done quite a lot of that over the years learned a lot met a lot of people but doing them virtually you don't get a free lunch you don't get any freebies or much in the way of freebies i did get like this so a youtube and bbc water bottle yeah boy he sent me that in the post you don't get as many freebies you don't really get to meet anybody and you don't i know it's not as effective i don't think i find myself doing other stuff so i don't know that i'll bother doing another virtual one sponsor lined up with a conversation the other day about who you choose to accept i appreciate you sticking to what fits your brand thank you very much got another one coming up on friday they're like buses they're all coming along together um it's a familiar one to those of you who watch the vlog channel it's one you'd have seen many times before no comment on who they are couldn't possibly reveal that should be in friday's video no they didn't send lunch money can you believe it can you believe it why not do a one-off cm video for the nostalgia i've done one-off videos on old games before um i've done kenny Dodgley soccer manager the original 1982 football manager um i've done bits on older football managers like i think i did oh nine and ten about less within the last year and ultimately nobody nobody wants to watch them it's not what people are on my channel for like for example that video that i put out with the champions league final in sheffield united champions league final if that had gone on zealand's channel with that title it would have got 40 or fifty thousand views but on my channel people see that kind of title and it's less views than a let's play people are on my channels to watch my let's plays they don't really want to see my standalone videos because it's not what they're there for if you want to watch loads of standalone videos experiments look back looks back at older games general football stuff you go and subscribe to someone like zealand you don't come to me for that you come to me because you want a 200 episode series that you can watch every day while you're having your lunch at work or whenever you watch it when you're having a poo when you get home from work whenever you watch it. you can watch it whenever you want but that's what people have subscribed to me for so stuff like that doesn't really work for me um the economic student in me did we just have an incredible goal bear with me i'm going to come back to that comment because i'm going to argue with it as you would expect but i need to see just how far away this is hit from it looks spectacular not quite as far away as i thought it was but it's still a very good hit by me um so where did where was it the kev, kev the economic student in me does not appreciate the use of the word freebie or free lunch nothing is free but some things come without monetary cost you had to expend time to do it yeah but it was learning i mean the time i i mean there is a cost to it but it's a cost that i'm paying regardless i disagree that i'm spending time to do it because i'm choosing to use that time to get something out of it i'm learning you if anything they're taking time out for me but the cost is the fact that youtube take half of all the ad revenue that is generated on youtube so it's part of the cost of entry you do you choose to do youtube they're going to take half of all the advertising money that appears on your videos and then you get this stuff back if you choose to access it so they op they put on courses they do little freebies here and there so it's i'm paying for it anyway um and some people choose to get some of that back and some people choose not to but i wouldn't say i'm having to invest time because i'm the one benefiting so nah it's it's as close to a freebie as you'll get I like the standalone videos but i think you're right the series are more engaged i'm actually excited at 5 to 11 for the new home episode the lovely stuff why what is happening here 
That said, I'd love to see a video about how you do some of the background stuff, kind of like when you do the video about selling and buying players for FM21. There will be more of that, but it will be within a month of FM22 coming out because that's when people will watch any old stuff. <laughs> no, but there'll be, there'll be more. I do more standalone stuff around about the launch window. This time of year, people aren't really searching for stuff. So unless unless you're looking... For, and I mean, people... I, I don't know Zealand's analytics, but I would suggest... Not as much is coming from search at this time of year, and more of it is coming from recommended and from his subscriber base. Whereas when I do that kind of stuff, my subscriber base aren't interested, so I get the views on that kind of stuff from search, and people aren't searching at this time of year. So I'll do um, I'll do that kind of stuff in November and early December, and then once Christmas is done, you won't see any more of that from me for the year. But you'll get a lot of it before then. There'll probably be three or four standalone video standalone videos a week because they're getting searched at that time of year was anyone upset you didn't get speed dating at lunchtime if they were i never found out about it because i wasn't there and that's the important thing do i have the team for next on league legend yeah it's i want to say it's brackley I think it's Brackley. I need to know where Brackley is now. I think it's Brack. Is it Brackley? Um, Bra Brackley Town FC. Firstly, are they in the National League? National League North. Um, where are they on a map? Yeah, it's Brackley. Brackley are the nearest, so it's them. Brackley Town Football Club will be my team for non-league legend on FM22. My starting team. Serge Mac, thank you very much for the sub. Best one-offs, you've done other ones messing with databases like 300 years ahead. Uh, yeah, I like doing all that kind of stuff as well. I don't know who about yo. I don't know what that means. Who is that? Should that should that mean something to me? Would you ever do a retro save instead of holidaying into the future? No. What do you mean by a retro save? What, as in on one of the retro databases, do a save? No. Because, again, no one would watch it. People think they want to see that. They don't want to see that. They want the novelty of it for one video. You even look at the analytics on that kind of video. Um, in fact, I can, if I just hide my screen for a second, I can show you the analytics on a video like that and show you why I wouldn't do a series. Because even when you do a one-off video, it doesn't hold people's interest to the end. They're there for the initial novelty and they don't stick around for very long. So although they look, they, they're good vanity. They give you good vanity metrics. Um, but in actual fact, they don't they don't really do very much for the channel. Um so where am I looking? Here we go. So if we jump back on here. Ah, I can't get back on the screen. So this is the one that was uh database in the 1999-2000 season that was holidayed forward into the future got a quarter of a million views did bring me in over a thousand subscribers which is very nice so this stuff all very good made me 700 quid 250,000 views an extra thousand subscribers all good stuff but watch time hours it only got marginally more than a normal home video would get my average watch time is 40,000 on a video that gets 10,000 views or 15,000 views this only got 44,000 hours on quarter of a million views. And it's because of this. Average view duration on a 35 minute video was 10 minutes. 29% view percentage. So by the time we're one minute into the video, only 40% of the people who started are watching. By the time you're, what, 10 minutes in, only 37% of people are left. 20 minutes in, only 27% of people are still watching. So people like the idea, they'll click on it. They'll maybe move around a little bit to try and find, get a rough idea of what happened, but they won't even sit and watch all of one of these. 
there's not a chance they're going to sit and watch a series. So that's why you won't get a series on a date base like that. I'm all about the analytics, boys and girls. As an F1 fan, all I know Brackley for is being where the Mercedes F1 team headquarters are. Well, there you go. People like to see who wins the Prem in 100 years or what cool random teams in the Prem so doing a save will be pointless. Yeah, exactly. And that, if we go back to those analytics, that's what they're getting in that first minute. I mean, we can see what's going on there. What's happening there? Um, can I make this big? Yeah, in fact, there you go. At that little high point. So this is me doing an intro. No one cares about... Ugh, he's doing an intro. Disgusting. Who wants to see an intro? Let's skip through the video. There, we can see the league table. And then when's this next peak? Um, Arsenal squad for some reason. So they want to look at some players. There's another peak for another league table. Um, that's England in the few yeah, the England squad. So people are just skimming through it, looking for the stuff they're interested in, but they're not gonna sit and watch the video. And the fact that my, me doing an intro killed the video so much at the start shows that most people watching don't even want to hear they don't care that i'm doing it they'd just be as happy to see a database if i just put a screenshot of the database that would satisfy what that what the majority of people are there for quarter of a million people watched it only a thousand of them subscribed to the channel you're not going to get a series or anything like that what about a retro streamer showdown but, but there's been legends in them haven't they? i've not played in one that's had legends in there's been a couple that have had legends in i don't see how you do a full because you can't draft on a custom database on fm21 i mean if if they allow drafting on custom databases on fm22 then that becomes an option but you can't you can't do the draft so you can't do a full retro streamer showdown because you can't draft it so how would you allocate the squads that's why they have to allocate the players with the spinny wheel off outside of the draft and then matt builds the custom database for it because you can't draft on a custom database. What does a regular video look like in comparison? Um, let's, should we have a look at today's home video? Um, I need to just, I don't want to show you my full analytics page because I don't want you to see it at the moment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but I'll show you today's, in fact, today's home video is probably not a good example because the analytics won't be in yet. So let's pick out, I don't know, a home video from a few days ago. There you go. So this is a home video from a couple of days ago. So what's this? When was this uploaded? The fifth. So four days ago. Um, that's a typical video. So on a 20 minute video, we've got 10 minutes of view duration. 54% average watch time. Anything over 50%, YouTube love all that. Um, and you can see people are generally watching it all the way through. So you always get that little bit of drop off at the start, the people who've clicked it by mistake. But generally, we're at 70% there and it's dropping very slowly as you would expect. But even halfway through, we've still got two thirds of people watching. Even when you get towards the end, you're still over half the people watching. And then people switch off at the end because they know I'm always going to say the same thing I always say. And a lot of people don't watch until the end. But that's the kind of shape you want on a video. Ideally, it would all be 10% higher. But I'd have to be the most engaging man in the history of the world for that to happen. I mean, that'll tell me, Kev, you're in, your outro is rubbish. As soon as the second match is done, people aren't watching anymore. Because that's where you get your big dip. But they like all this. People are engaged in the matches, but just show the matches and no, no, no outro, no intro, no outro, just matches. They don't want me. They just, <laughs> they don't want me. How sad. The Belarus team will be going off their head. Like, stop pausing. We're doing a goal. Well, it was us conceding. So you'd need to be Zealand. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, Zealand's editing is um, is a big, big part. If I could... I mean, it's not even a case of if I could afford an editor. I'd probably make similar money to Zealand. 
he probably makes more than me now but certainly when he hired his editor we were probably making similar amounts so i could afford an editor in the same way as he could afford an editor i don't want to spend all that money on an editor because i've got a pesky family to pay for and i like to squirrel money away zealand's got the advantage of being early 20s i'm late 30s i half of everything i earn gets invested for when no one wants to watch me do this anymore whereas he's got a real career he can go and do when youtube doesn't work out what isn't working anymore so the money he's paying to an editor i'm investing in a in a index fund because i'm fun and exciting but i think i'd probably it's it's weighing up if it's worth doing oh sugar plums what have we just done there the keeper's got himself out of a hole um i think i could probably get I could probably up that audience retention by 10 or 15% with an editor as good as the one Zealand's got and videos of the production quality that he's got. But would that 10, 15% extra make the money to pay the editor? No, I don't think it would pay for itself. Would it be better to do a one match a vid or two? Well, you just saw from that that whenever, when the matches are on, people are watching. You have the skill set to do it yourself. Yeah, but I don't have the time. You, I mean, for me to do a football manager video the editing takes 10 minutes for me to edit one zealand style it's gonna take three hours if i'm spending if, i can't do two videos a day if each one takes three hours to edit when am i going to make them when am i going to stream so it's all about cost benefit analysis i don't think i don't think it's worth it for me to edit to that level um does he have all the skill share money well he's uh, he did a he did something with um squarespace didn't he recently who i've been trying to get on board for years and they've for some reason they don't want to work with me i say that they've never never really replied i don't do any of the reaching out to brands so for whatever reason i've not managed to hook squarespace in yet do i have a website i do not I wouldn't try to match his editing for normal videos, but it might be an idea to consider his new thing with hiring an editor to shorten his Twitch streams to 30 minutes for YouTube. Again, it's not worth it. Um, let's show you show you a different analytics page. So if we switch to the Lelujo Live channel, which is where my Twitch replays go, this channel made me £72 in the last month. Now, I know that's me putting full replays on there, but that's with decent views, like 4,000, one and a half, that. These are all getting between one and sort of one and 3,000 views uh, a, a stream replay. I don't think it's gonna, the amount of work involved in shortening a stream down to a 30 minute highlight video, I don't think it's gonna pay for itself. And I don't think, because I do two Let's Play series anyway, I don't think it's satisfying a demand from my audience. Zealand's always got people asking him to do a series on YouTube because he doesn't. So it's satisfying. It's, he's got an actual demand for that kind of content. And it might not even pay for itself, but he can afford, he's in a stage of his life where he's able to invest a huge amount of what he makes back into his business. Whereas I'm 10, 15 years older than him. I'm not really at that stage. I need to I need to start cashing some of it out. What do I like about his edits? I don't particularly like it. I, it's, it for me, it's that's not the kind of style I like, but that's what works on YouTube. It's fast paced. It's rarely staying on a static shot. There's lots of jump cuts and zooms in and out and that kind of it holds attention and whether you as an old person like me like that style or not i personally don't really like that style but i know young people do and young people are the majority of people who watch youtube videos and it holds their attention better so it's just it's all about maintaining attention one of the things they talk about on these youtube courses that i do what the last the worst thing you can do on a youtube video is just have a static shot of you talking and never cutting away from it and never you know you need those jump cuts those different angles multiple camera angles 
this whole setup is off the back of being told to do it basically as a uh, the idea originally was that i was going to move back and forth between them in my videos and be a bit more heavily edited and then i thought ah, no you know what i'm not interested can't be bothered with this Just going analytic daft today. You lot, as I always say, you lot lead the conversation. I just answer the questions you ask me. So if you don't want to know about the analytics, stop asking about the analytics. Like I said on Diz's podcast, this is an obsession for me. I could talk about YouTube analytics all day long. Love it. I find it really interesting. Six year loans and never never transfers coded out of FM22 SI is confirmed. I mean, trolling much? Why would they stop the game being a simulation? That would be weird. Imagine not having long term loans. Imagine taking stuff out of the game that's in real football. That's like saying, yeah, they've coded left backs out of FM22. That's <laughs> absolute nonsense and buffoonery. I've never found an appeal to Zealand. I just don't get the hype. Darth Pigeon, I'm suggesting you're old. You might not be. I'm suggesting you're old. Me and Zealand are targeting very different markets, I suspect. Won't let me download Super Club Soccer. You should, theoretically. You better just go onto Steam and get it. Now, don't read into anything. It's not on this computer. I'm playing it on my... Oh, I have got it on this computer. I've been playing it on the other computer. Um, but you should be able to just go onto the store. Type in Super Club Soccer. Obviously, you want to do it through my link. But I've not clicked my own link. And then you just click Play Now. And that will download it. Because it's free to play. You just click Play Game. Or whatever the equivalent will be before you've downloaded it. Have you ever considered going back to school for economic certification? Um, no, I used to teach business and economics. I did business A-level. Um, the faculty that I was... I, I was within the, the computing and business faculty in the school I was in. It's... I'm, I'm a qualified financial advisor. I don't need another piece of paper. What's what? How would it benefit me? I'm a YouTuber. I don't need an economics degree. It's what I was going to be doing. If I'd have gone to university at 18, that's what I was going to be doing, economics. I was going to the London School of Economics, in fact. I deferred it for a year. And um, then never went. Never went Because I, by the end of my deferred year, I was married with a child. My steam won't open. I see. Now that's not anything I've got any control over. I'm mid twenties, not a fan of Zealand stuff. Oh, you're going after Zealand tonight, aren't you, you monsters? Whether you enjoy his stuff or not, you can't dispute the fact that he's uh, taken both YouTube and Twitch by storm in the last year. He is hitting that that zeitgeist smack across the face. He is hitting the people who no one else was hitting in Football Manager before. That overexcited teenage audience that no one that none of us old 30 something bearded fat men weren't really appealing to the overexcited 15 year olds and he's got that market sewn up starting business prerequisites for a master's degree in business as well any tips kev that are not general school but not really no yeah no, I'd, I've never, I've, um, I've not done a master's, so I have, in fact, my master's credits are expired now. I got some master cre master's credits as part of doing my teacher training. Is he most subscribed FM YouTuber yet? I wouldn't have thought so. Jack's well ahead of him, I think. Um, unless he's really gone crazy recently. He only hit 100,000 like a month ago, didn't he? Let me have a look. Zealand. 
Look, he's up to 112 already. It is absurd. He's going to hit a million. He'll be the first and probably only who hits a million. Absolute madness. Um, we're playing the cup final, boys and girls. So we should probably, as much as I enjoy talking about Zealand all day long, um, we should probably focus on the fact we're playing in the cup final. If we win this, it's our first piece of silverware and it's a European qualification spot. So this is what we want to be doing. So did Olcott that he's at 120,000 now. That's because Olcott's really hit his stride and found his niche. If you look at the kind of content he was making six months ago compared to what he's doing now, he has really found his little pocket of YouTube. Um, he'll have a million by the end of the year if he carries on as he is. Because the Euros is going to be massive for him. But he's not really a football manager YouTuber, is he? Does Kev like Zealand? Yeah, me and Zealand get on fine. Right, here comes the cup final. Come on! Rah! Remember, we're playing against the best team in the country, so they are going to beat us. So don't get too upset. I don't want to see bottles in the chat when we lose against the best team in the country, the reigning champions. <laughs> but, oh, I'd love it. I'd love it if we beat them. I'd love it if we beat them. Mm. Am I planning to watch the Euros? I'll watch the England games. And I'll have matches on while I'm streaming. So we'll do little watch-alongs here and there on the streams. I'm not going to... Certainly not going to sit there. Hold on. I've written all the fixtures down just so I can plan content around them. Not content based on the Euros. but So I'm not releasing videos while there's massive matches on. But for example, next Wednesday... I'm not going to sit and watch Finland versus Russia at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Because I'd just, I'd just fall asleep. It would be so boring. I think if Kev were opening packs for expensive trading cards while in a hot tub doing ASMR, ASMR, I'd crack 1K viewers for stream easy. Well, Anna said we can get a paddling pool. And I do like it. I've opened lots of packs on Twitch over over my years. I think I still probably blew at least 500 quid on FIFA points on FIFA 21, even though I moved house during during peak pack opening season. But I still think we, I think I spent that entire 500 quid on stream, just pouring money into packs. I had a super team within 10 days of the game coming out, which would now look like a bunch of trash because I've not turned it on since November. I remember when we first moved in here, our internet was so dodgy, I couldn't play online. And I don't think I've been back to FIFA since. It just killed it for me. I qualified for the weekend league for the first time in the garage. Came here to play on it and it wouldn't work. And I was like, no, I'm done. I'll be back for FIFA 22 though. Because FM will be completely dead by then. So you'll get uh, probably a couple of months of FIFA content out of me this year. On stream at least, not on YouTube. But on stream, there'll be plenty of... Well, it won't be exclusively FIFA. But there'll be lots of FIFA stuff mixed in with the FM. I remember an early FIFA stream this year where you got matched against some guy using only 60 rated Chinese players and he totally scorched me. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to go online playing only 60 rated Chinese players, you're probably backing yourself to be quite good at the game. Do I like F1? No. Boring. I don't really watch any sport. I'm not really into sport. I'm a nerd. I'm into comics and nerdy stuff. I don't have time for sport. Right, it is still nil-nil after 65 minutes and we're on the attack. Do a watch along on SummerSlam. I mean, it'd have to be the next day because I'm far too old to be staying up all night watching wrestling these days. And if I did it the next day, people would just spoil it because people are wangs. So it's not really an option. We've got a penalty! Ho, ho, ho! Come on, boys! Well, 
well Ivanov's shattered but we are a much worse team without Ivanov in it so I think we have to keep him on Oh, oh. All right. Just freshen things up where we can freshen things. There you go. We can freshen things in those positions. We've got to keep Ivanov on. That was our chance. That was that was a trophy. That was Europe. It, it was all right there. We have... There have been some chances against us today. Look at this match stats. They're absurd. On, can we have some why can't i do it i've already done a shout can we just have some encouragement they're playing a very defensive system for a team that are much better than us very weird they're going to extra time i kind of just wanted it to go straight to penalties there can we do an extra substitution now because i think now is probably the time to take over oh we can well now i'm going back on my word and i'm not taking ivan off 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 i might bring on another striker though because he's knackered so we're going to bring him on I'm going to stick a target man in. Are we going to stick a target man in? Put him on attack. I'm going to do this. Here we go. Come on now. We've never played this system before, by the way. And we're doing it in extra time. In a final against a team who are much better than us. Well, we probably should be playing for penalties, but welcome to the world of Kev, boys and girls. Oh, he's offside. Surely he's offside. He's... <gasps> Where's my other bells? Oh. Oh. Surely we're not... I mean... Found him. Well, this is where if I was a chicken, I'd drop back to a 442 now and go to cautious. But I'm not a chicken. I'm a hero! And heroes Heroes stay 424 positive in this kind of situation. Because that's what heroes do. We put our hands on our head for the second half of extra time, and we don't get tempted to touch anything. Hands on the head, everybody. We touch nothing. We hold our nerve. Oh, my word. We're the ones on the attack. We can grab a second here. That, that's it. We're in Europe. We've got a trophy. Oh, no. Not a counterattack. They've committed nobody forward. What are they doing with their lives? They're still only playing with one man forward, and I don't understand why. Not that I want to coach them about how to beat us, but if they try, if they want to score a goal, they should probably try attacking. Oh, uh, there's nobody forward for them. Oh, I thought he was in again there. I'm getting bored of having my hands on my head. Oh, uh, I've taken my hand. The hands on the head isn't luck. It's to stop me fiddling. Oh, no. No, no, no. That was it. That was our chance. That was the opportunity. Ah. Uh, don't want to see it. Come on, boys. More encouragement. Should have fiddled. Absolutely not. We'd have definitely conceded if we had fiddled. We gave ourselves a chance by not fiddling. Anyone who disagrees with that is just wrong and hasn't played in a football manager. You learn with experience not to fiddle in these situations. Oh. Oh. I think I think there's only one winner now, and it's definitely not us. I've played this game before. I know I put one tracks. Although there was a man free in the middle, if we'd have just given it to him. This is this is where the winner goes in. Yep. Yep. I've done this one before. This one, this is all too familiar. They just gave us that little bit of hope. 
but there was always only going to be one winner and the game just wanted to make me believe because it's a scumbag <laughs> oh dear I'm not even going to bother it's not nothing we can do now makes a difference <sighs> we made it to the final I am going to stay and watch them lift the cup and give them a round of applause because I'm a gentleman. Played that exact match dozens of times. Dozens of times. Ay, ay, ay. We did do well, though. Now, we just need to... Um, need to make sure we qualify for Europe through the league now I guess there's no no cup to get in the way although I think the cup starts again in like two weeks we play the first round again presumably but yeah there's someone there on the on the Twitter extra time should be scrapped well then how do you how do you propose we get a win out Irina a ridiculous thing you wanted penalties Ed I to be fair I want penalties can we still make Europe if they win the league? I doubt it. Um, I strongly doubt it. Um, rules? Yeah, winner qualifies for the second qualifying round of the Europa Conference League. <laughs> oh, it's magnificent. Yeah, I don't think... I think... Um, it'll just give us an extra spot in the in the league now because in the league previously it was why is it only showing me the bottom i don't want to see the bottom i want to see european qualification it's like it's assumed i'm not going to get this far so the playoff that's the league what show me european qualification you turd where does that live on here I just want to see the top of this. Oh, well, we'll let it be a surprise. But I'm sure we'll get an extra spot in the league now. Which, for us down in fifth place, is useful. Because we might end up being the team that benefits indirectly from the fact that they just won the cup. And we're getting to Europe that way. Why has my chat just said, welcome to the chat room? Was I not already in the chat room? What on earth is going on? <laughs> Let me know you can still see me. I don't know what's happening here. I'm a little bit confused. I'm going to have to go. Nobody is chatting. What's going on? I can. It's still on. That's all right then. So you just all went silent to mess with me, you bunch of turds. My word, Twitch doing Twitch things. Yeah, I just got a message saying I'm connected to the chat. For a second there, I thought, oh, it's all gone wrong. Maybe I can kick the power cable and we'll have to play the final again. Wouldn't that be awful? <laughs> I can see you all now, yeah. Maybe it just connect, disconnected for a second and the stream didn't. That would be a weird thing for it to do. The gardener's outside cutting my internet cable again. I have a plant pot to defend against the gardener now. The only way he's cutting it now is if he moves my plant pot and does it deliberately. So if he does that, I'll be horrified. Meeting pizza. What have you got on your pizza, Beagles? I hope it's a... Uh, Chicago Town Magnificent Meat Feast because you are in the presence of the captain of Team Magnificent Meat Feast in the tournament of toppings. So if you're eating an inferior pizza, I genuinely feel sorry for you. Hopefully you are eating the king of pizzas. Just watch today's vlog. I think you should wait for this gardener to come back and then cut one of his wires. What, what wires am I cutting? Oh dear. Right, come on, boys and girls. Let's get ourselves up and running again. 
ham, mushroom, sweet corn, and pineapple. Disgusting. I mean, you were doing all right with ham and mushroom. You started to lose me at sweet corn because you seem to have confused pizza with sandwich. And then you've gone and put a fruit on it. Do they not have any bananas to put on it? Thought you were vegan. How come you're captain of the meat team? Um, firstly, not been properly vegan for months. Dana's not vegan, so it's impossible for me to be vegan on my own. Bearing in mind, I do all the cooking. And secondly, they said, do you want a vegan team? Well, they sent me the contract. Um, which, there's three rounds, and depending on where I get, like, the further into the tournament I go, the more they pay me. Um, and then they said, do you want a vegan team? And my response was, well, you've just told me the further I get into the tournament, the more you pay me. So, no, I don't want a vegan team. I want... I want the best topping, thank you. So, a Magnificent Meat Feast is the best one. Because I want to be paid more. <laughs> yeah, there's not, not a chance of vegan pizzas winning, is it? Let's face it. The only way a vegan pizza is winning is if some some numpty with a million subscribers has been given them and they just destroy it and make it not about the pizza come on boys we need a goal now but we've not got Ivanov in the team and we're not the same team without Ivanov Do, 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 do. Who are the other captains? I know Tubes is one. A bunch of people I've never heard of. Tubes and a bunch of people I've never heard of. If you click through the cap, the hashtag on Instagram, you'll see everyone else who's posted about it. The only one I'd heard of is Tubes. Cute to Zealand announcing his team vegan. Well, I'd be all right with that because he's got like nine Instagram followers, hasn't he? Tell me he's not gone past me on Instagram. I'd be horrified. And it's an Instagram promo, so as long as I've as long as I'm still the king of Instagram, football manager's greatest Instagrammer. I've got dub I've got double the followers he's got on Instagram. I'm that special. Yeah, Soccer AM Tubes is one of the captains, and then a bunch of nobodies and me. But Tubes is in my group. I think he's got the ham and something one in my group. So there's not really much chance I'm getting through the first round because he's got gazillions of followers. So it was nice while it lasted. I got to eat a pizza. I wouldn't have got to eat otherwise. It did mean I didn't lose any weight this week. So big thanks for that, Chicago Town. I mean, I did also have a KFC and a kebab this week. So didn't put any weight on so that's a good thing um yeah there's all the other people if you go to the hashtag everyone wearing their blue shirts using the exact same wording oh it's brilliant i love brand deals right he's coming off what a load of rubbish just mixing things up really in the attack we get back onto niblets again. I think we've said everything that there is to say about niblets. What else do you want to know about niblets? Barbecue chicken pizza from Papa John's. I mean, firstly, I can't. I'm contractually not allowed to say what I just said there. Um, and chicken shouldn't be on pizza. Barbecue shouldn't be on pizza. Chicken on pizza is worse than pineapple. It's just weird. And... I don't like it when they use barbecue sauce instead of tomato sauce. Pizza just needs to be pretty simple. You just need to have a nice, thin, crispy base with a tomato sauce, some nice melty mozzarella, and a selection of meats, maybe some mushrooms, maybe even an olive. But you don't, you don't, I mean, for example, the Magnificent Meat Feast. It's pretty close to the perfect pizza. I've never been a stuffed crust fan myself, but even that works because they've stuffed the crust with the tomato sauce. 
rather than with cheese. So even that works. They're casually missing a penalty while talking about pizza is what I'm here for. I mean, if you, if anyone, there's surely nobody here expecting me to be commentating on the football manager. You get that all day. I spend all day doing that on YouTube. This is where we come and have a chat. And I have to have football manager on in the background. So you lot come and chat with me. <laughs> oh, that's that might, that might be the saddest thing I've ever said. I just want to talk to somebody. I'll only talk if I've got my Game Boy with me. People just want to watch me play Mario. Hydrate. Prawn chorizo pizza is the best. I find that hard to believe. I'm not a big chorizo fan. I do like a seafood pizza though. When I was a kid, I used to love Morris. Back in the 90s, Morrison's did a really nice seafood pizza. With, it was basically a tuna and prawn pizza. I really liked it as a kid. I don't know that it would be my first choice now. I know it's Dave Bart during Anna's stream, but sleeps through yours. Um, I imagine that was because she had the back door open and he would be out in the garden barking at anybody walking past because the, the houses behind us, their parking area is behind our back fence. So anytime someone goes out to their car, Dave's there, get out of my garden! They're not in the garden, Dave. Calm down. Get out of my garden! Whereas in here, I've got the blind shirt. He can't see anything that's going on outside, so he's got nothing to bark at. There's that kid in the playground with the WWE figures and Moshi Monster cards. I mean, I get the WWE figures part. I don't know what a Moshi Monsters card is. They certainly didn't exist in my day. I remember Batman cards from the late 80s. Can we do a football piece? I mean, I'd, I'd actually be a little bit upset if we beat this lot in the league after we just lost to them in that cup final. I think the, the fairest result for my sanity is a draw here. Because if we beat them, I'll be forever wondering what might have been. We could have qualified for Europe. Boglins used to be my weird collection thing. Now, I remember the word Boglin from somewhere, so I don't remember what they are. So that suggests that was probably something my brother had. I'm vaguely aware of it existing, but don't remember it. So, does that make you a couple of years younger than me? My brother is three years younger than me. So, similar to how I had He-Man, he had Thundercats. I had Turtles, he had Power Rangers. Is Boglin something that came along not long after me rubber band puppets I don't that. I can't picture that is it weird I never eat pizza that is pretty weird yeah and puppets I collected Beyblade and Pokemon cards see I had to have work the space explain to me what a Beyblade was at a football manager event a few years ago because I'd never heard of them. And again, I've never owned a poke card. Boglins were late 80s to 90s. Sounds about right. This is amazingly chill. What happens to YouTube, Kev? Oh, what do you mean? I, I have to do that all day. This is just where we hang out. This is just us having a chat. Hanging out and having a bit of football manager in the background. We have our exciting moments. Like we just played a cup final, but now we're just going to be... Basically, at the moment, this is one of the in-betweeny bits that you don't see in the YouTube videos. I'm even slouching back in my chair at the moment. Look at the state of me. What a monster. Do I still have little clates in Little Zealand? I do. YouTube Kev forgets he needs to talk into a mic, to which Kev talks into that. Everything else except FM. That the reason I forgot about the mic is because 
there'd been like an hour and a half gap between those two clips. And when I'm not recording, I just... I put the mic over there! Because it gets in the way. But I obviously just forgot to wheel it back round again. Is it okay if I also put an FM in the background? Not only is it okay, it's actively encouraged. I, th I think my Twitch bio still refers to me as the king of the second screen. I absolutely expect to be on your second screen. Whether that's you're watching me on your phone or playing on your laptop or I've, I'm on the telly while you're on the laptop or whatever it might be. You've got two monitors on your computer. I'm on the one you're not playing FM on. If you're not playing FM right now. I'm a little bit confused about what's happening. So the in-between bits, you're talking about chicken pizza to the room. Pretty much, yeah. Do I remember Banana Man? Yes. Pigeon Street? Yes. Trapdoor? No. Button Moon? Yes. Trapdoor was that? Maybe it was on ITV. I didn't watch ITV. So I don't really watch ITV now. We weren't an ITV family. Actually, you're on my first screen. The second screen is out of the park baseball on it. Interesting. If you're new to getting paid at work, watch Kev. You're doing it wrong. Amazing. Normally play FM while watching your streams, but I'm currently playing Minecraft. I actually sat there at like half past five, just finished my dinner, thinking, I might stream Minecraft tonight. I haven't played Minecraft for like a year. I really fancied a bit of Minecraft and I was going to put it on. But then I thought, no, I'd better do Football Manager tonight because tomorrow night, half the stream, we're going to be playing Raid Shadow Legends because I've got uh, I've got a sponsorship with them again tomorrow. So we'll still do, half the stream will still be Football Manager. But about 8, 8, 39, somewhere in that region, we'll switch over to Raid for a few hours. Um... So I figured if I'm playing Raid Shadow Legends tomorrow, I really should play some Football Manager tonight. Especially because the only reason I'm streaming tonight is I didn't plan to stream tonight. The only reason I'm streaming tonight is because I couldn't stream last night and I felt like I owed you a stream. And specifically, owed you a Football Manager stream. So we're here to do some Football Manager. Weird question. Can you put a monitor on a wall? I have no space left on my desk. Probably. Did BT get out last night? BT, well, open reach, were out by one o'clock yesterday. They were out within like two hours. Very impressed with them. Very, very impressed. All you monsters saying you're not going to watch the raid stream tomorrow. Put it on and mute it. I've got bills to pay. If I if I send them a, if I send them stream analytics showing only four people stayed to watch it, they won't give me money again and they pay really well. <laughs> so don't be monsters. Even if you're not interested, just stick it on and mute the thing and go about your business. Let's just pretend you were watching. Help Kev pay his bills. And ultimately, it'll be exactly the same as this. I'll just be chatting to you about chicken nuggets and gloves and whatever comes whatever comes to mind. And it would it'll just be raid on in the background rather than football manager. <laughs> um right, who's this? Novik. Oh, okay. That was me asking someone else to talk to him. So he wants to go out on loan. He can go out on loan then. I don't care if you go out on loan. Go out on loan. We've all played it now, so we can't download and play again. Yeah, it is going to be interesting to see how, see how this tracks tomorrow. This is a third one run through we've done with Raid Shadow Legends. So 
there'll, there'll come a time where it just doesn't work anymore because everyone's already got it. It is a slightly different structure this time. Um, I think I'm getting paid for people getting to level 10. Now, what I'm not sure about is if people who've downloaded it previously and only done a tutorial, if they then get to level 10, do I get paid? It's, it's confusing. used all three of my google accounts that's amazing you lot are mad you lot are mad i now fully expect an in-depth discussion about chicken nuggets tomorrow while watching turn-based combat i mean you might well get it because we've got the um have you seen that fake mcdonald's stuff they're doing at aldi we bought a load of it um, Aldi, uh, Al, Aldi, fake McDonald's. They've got all this stuff, the big stack, the chicken nuggets. Um, we haven't been able to find the breakfast hash browns anywhere, but we did get the sausage muffin as well. <coughs> so at some point we're going to do a taste test of it. We really want to find the hash browns so we can test all of them. Um, but there's a good chance we'll do that tomorrow because we're going to Audi again to check for the hash browns and if we do I'll be able to talk about those particular chicken nuggets on tomorrow's stream and tell you all about them me and my wife have tried them they are canny nice I don't know what that means. I think that means they are nice. Could mean they're not nice. I lived off the breakfast muffins when I worked mornings at Aldi. Nice. Weirdly, I found the muffin in B&M. I thought it was an Aldi thing, but I guess they're everywhere. Someone else said they're in Iceland as well. I endorse your choice of shopping at Aldi. I really love their produce. I mean, I wouldn't say I shop there particularly. I like their sushi, so if I'm out and about and I need lunch, I'll nip in there for sushi because their sushi's good. Um, I don't really do main shopping there because they don't do home deliveries. How was the course? Yeah, it's all right. I work at Iceland and we do all of them. So do, you do, do Iceland do the hash browns? Because we could potentially swing by Iceland and just grab a box of the hash browns. Canny means they're quite nice. Sorry for the northeast speak. It's northeast. See, I thought that sounded Scottish. But I guess to those of us down in the south, it's basically the same thing. Northeast England, Scotland, all the same. All the same. Small selection of fake McDonald's in my local Sainsbury's. So that means it's an actual brand of something. So it's not just Aldi being cheeky rascals. It's actually a brand that how are they not getting sued snacksters that's what they're called how are they not getting sued by mcdonald's for i mean i guess because they're doing stuff like donna kebabs as well which are not mcdonald's related but they are using the same font mcdonald's use let's so see what they've got to say on twitter home to the big stack I don't know how they're getting away with it. How, 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 they do a royal stack as well. This is madness. How, how is this? How? I need someone to explain it to me. I realise this football manager to play, but I need to understand this situation. <laughs> I mean, how? How? They're from Preston. I want to see their about page. 
get in touch. I want to get in touch. I can't get in touch. It's not clickable. Contact. I'm going to send him an email just saying how. It's one word. How? How? I don't understand. <laughs> Phone him up and just keep saying how over and over again. But explain it to me. Font is close, but a free usage. Anyone can use them. It's very hard to copyright a font. It's not even the font, is it? It's the font, the color scheme, the combination of similar fonts, the fact the names of the products are very similar. It's obviously imitating McDonald's. You're telling me that isn't supposed to make you think Big Mac. I need to I need to talk to their lawyers. I need to know their beef and chicken burgers. So are you telling me that that is a combination of beef and chicken? That sounds hideous. How closely can I imitate something? Apparently, McDonald's lost a copyright battle for the font in 2019 and permission to use the prefix muck a little later. It'll be imitation, not full copying in a legal sense. The ingredients different enough to make it not the same. I'm going to make some crisps that look like Pringles and call them Prongles. And there'll be, a, there'll be different ingredients because I don't know how to make Pringles. Coming soon to a supermarket near you, Kev's Prongles. They exist. Made by Snacks. What? Made by the same company? Well, they're not on their product list. No prongles here. I was going to sue them then. I don't think I should be supporting this company. I might throw the stuff I've bought away. I thought this was just an innocent little jab by Audi after the uh, Colin the Caterpillar fiasco. I didn't realise there'd, there'd been a whole company that's just ripping off other companies. I'm against it now. I'm officially against it. Are you actually telling me Prongles exist? Because I'm going to be horrified. Prongles. Snack right. So snack right prongles. Are oh, they not called prongles? They're called stack snack right original flavor potato snacks. So I'm gonna make these, but they're gonna be called prongles. And rather than your fella with a mustache, it's gonna be a guy with a beard. Prongles coming soon, boys and girls. What's the spike in search history for Prongles? Was there a spike in search history? Prongles. <laughs> so September. So yeah, there was a massive spike in. People are all over the Prongles in November 2017. Someone must have already done it. Oh, it's a record label, apparently. There you go. Prongles is a record label. If you look at a cereal like Weetabix, they can be 99.8% the same with slightly different packaging and be fine as their own brand. I guess in my head, stuff being a supermarket-owned brand is a little bit different. It's weird. 
I'd be completely fine if it was just Audi doing it as an own brand microwave burger. But the fact that this is a company selling it to lots of different supermarkets immediately makes it a bit scummy to me. I don't know why. Good old Prongles. Kev's Prongles. They'll be next year's home shirt sponsors. <laughs> Forget having my, my name on the front of the shirts. It's just going to be Prongles. I work, for my, I work legal for my company and we see so many similar names for things it baffles me. A lot of own brand are made in the same place. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you buy digest Tesco's Digestive Biscuits, they're exactly the same as McVitie's. Made in the same place, just labelled differently. bit scummy either way but who cares mcdonald's is not gonna lose a penny because of it no but i've given snacksters like four quid i want i want my four quid back da, da. coke versus pepsi the coke and pepsi aren't but pepsi aren't trying to pretend they're coke are they? they're their own different thing Pepsi's brand is we're like Coke, but we're flat. We forgot to turn the carbonation machine on. Who? What did come first, Coke or Pepsi? It must have been Coke, surely. Pepsi's fake Coke, but then Coke Zero's fake Pepsi Max. It's generally the gist of it, right? Our good start to the season is disappearing. Which is not nice. I wanted to qualify for Europe. Bear in mind, we're only supposed to avoid relegation this year, so we're doing all right on that front. But our incredibly unbalanced squad is starting to become a problem. I think we need to shuffle. So we can stick Conan on in there. I just don't have any players. So you can go in there and you can go up there. We can do that as a way to try something a little bit different. Like the ads say, in a blind taste test that Pepsi pay people, more people prefer Pepsi. I absolutely don't prefer Pepsi. I much prefer the taste of Coke, which is why I always drink Coke. Or Diet Coke. I don't actually like the taste of Coke or Pepsi, the full sugar versions. I think they're horrible. But I prefer Diet Coke to Pepsi Max. And Diet Pepsi is just so stupid and pointless. And Coke Zero I used to really like, but I think they changed the formula and I don't really like it now. So Diet Coke, definitely the king of the colas. Hey, they ruined Coke Zero. It was a dark day in my household. That is amazing. Pretty sure Pepsi was designed to be room temp and Coke is meant to be cold. Is that so? So Pepsi was weird right from the start. That makes a lot of sense. Imagine being a room temperature soft drink. Weird seeing all the hate for Diet Coke. Everyone knows Diet Coke is better than normal Coke. <laughs> it's just like drinking sugar. I don't want to drink sugar. I want to drink chemi I want to drink chemicals. I don't really like any full sugar drinks. One of my favorite, one of my proudest moments as a child was confidently stepping up to the Pepsi Challenge roof in the nineties. I mean, I could easily tell the difference between Coke and Pepsi. Picking Coke and walking away like a champ. 
Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, Dr. Pepper is better than all of them. But again, I like, I prefer Dr. Pepper Zero. Eighth of May, 1886, Coca-Cola, Pepsi came out as Brad's drink in 1893, and then 1898, Pepsi-Cola, and then Pepsi in 1961. Refrigeration was expensive back in the day. But then don't make them yet. Wait until fridges are cheap. I like Pepsi Max, especially raspberry or cherry. See, I don't like any of the flavoured ones. Anna likes the cherry Pepsi Max. Ordered any more Apple Tango? No. It's, I, I can't have... Now I'm, now I'm doing Weight Watchers. I can't have Apple Tango. They don't do a diet version of it. So I'm not using Weight Watchers points on a beverage. I don't care how nice the beverage is. If it's costing me Weight Watchers points that I could spend on a Twix, then I'm not wasting any points at all on drinks. Are there any non-alcoholic beverages that are good at room temperature? Um, coffee. As a teacher, or a former teacher, room temperature coffee is how I drank all my coffee for a long, long time. <laughs> Water's good at room temperature. Ugh, no, it's not. Ugh. Water has to be icy cold. Can't drink water straight out of the tap. Needs to be icy, icy, icy cold. Or it's horrible. Like, orange squash is bearable at room temperature. I wouldn't say it's nice. I don't think anyone's ever described orange squash as nice, surely. It's just about bearable at room temperature. Room temperature milk. Yeah, I like I like my milk to be chewy, so I have it at room temperature. Three days later. Yes, Dr. Pepper has a zero version. It's good. Um, We've got loads of budget left. So if any of these guys were to take on Trider any good, we could potentially make some signings, but unfortunately, none of them are any good. So we'll just keep on churning out matches with our total lack of a midfield and hope that we don't fall too far down the table. Just wanted to say your videos have helped over lockdown. You're a hero without a cape. Thank you very much. I do have a cape, but thank you very much. I don't wear the cape very often. It came with one of my crowns. What's the best pure fruit juice? I don't really drink fruit juice. Again, I've, for years, I've tried to avoid drinking calories. I don't really drink any drinks that have calories in because I figure I'm fat enough already. I don't need to drink extra calories. So I don't have stuff like fruit juice, milkshakes, alcohol. It's not why I don't have alcohol, but I don't have alcohol. I have a little bit of milk in my, my tea or my coffee sometimes, but not always. But yeah, most, mostly I only drink zero calorie beverages. But if I was having fruit juice, probably orange. Every drink's either better, hot or cold. Room temperature is always sad. Oh, wow. I don't think a drink can be sad. Oh, look. It's NordVPN's birthday. Make a note. The 9th of June is NordVPN's birthday and they're giving you a discount to celebrate it's their birthday and they're giving you the gift of a discount on the price amazing can't have red wine warm or cold see i don't i've never liked red wine even when i used to drink alcohol never liked red wine it just tastes like vinegar 
I never really liked any alcoholic drinks, but some of them I could force down to look cool and fit in with the with the crowds. But red wine, I ain't drinking vinegar for anybody. I'm doing Alfreton Town save. On FM 19, got them from the National League, North League One, back to back promotions, and binging your content. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Fanta Lemon is class, but a close second to Fanta Grape. I don't think I've had Fanta Grape. That feels like a US only thing. I don't think we have any kind of grape drinks here. Couldn't even, I can't even imagine a grape flavored fizzy drink. It doesn't compute to me. Grapes don't really taste of anything in my head. Tastes like purple. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's just come out over here, has it? Fanta grape is available in the UK. Well, there you go. I'm not going to try it because it sounds weird. I've had Fanta grape. Lots of Fanta grape fans. I'm playing football for the first time in years tonight. Wish my knees look good luck to your knees. I'm assuming you're outside of the UK because it's already half past eight now. And you've not played yet. You must be somewhere else in the world. But it's not quite the same. Nobody starts playing football at half past eight, nine o'clock in the evening, surely. That's bedtime. It's getting on for bedtime. Doom. Doom. Come on, boys. We're actually going to win a football match here, hopefully. Turns out they don't have Fanta Grape in the best county in England. Which, as everyone knows, is Rutland. Too much what you're talking about. I like the sound of Fanta Grape. I, I mean, I've never had a grape-flavoured thing. Six or side pitches sometimes start as late as 10pm. What is the world coming to? People shouldn't be out of their house at 10 p.m. for any reason. Never mind to do physical activity. I'm so old. Talking about Devon. Devon's just... Oh, we, it's getting late. We can't be bothered to go all the way to Cornwall. It's the only reason anyone ends up in Devon, isn't it? Uh, certain that's true. Bedtime's 2 a.m. All right, for some, Mike, some of us have to be up at 7. If I went to bed at, if I went to bed at 2 a.m., I'd be sleep deprived in within a matter of days. Dorset's far better. Dorset is an excellent county. I like Dorset. But I say I like Dorset. I like Bournemouth. We used to go on holiday to the New Forest every year as a kid, which I know is Hampshire. But that would involve us going to Bournemouth a lot. Or specifically Boscombe. My parents were very much Team Boscombe in the great bournemouth Boscombe rivalry. We'd only go into Bournemouth on Wednesday nights and Friday nights. Wednesday nights for candle lighting, Friday nights for fireworks. Since Corona, I don't have to get up for uni anymore, so my sleep schedule is wrecked. You could still get up at a reasonable time and go to bed at a reasonable time. Really easy to get into a sleep schedule. If you just wake yourself up, if you set an alarm for the same time every day, Within a matter of days of getting up at that time, you'll settle into going to bed at a, an appropriate time for that. So my alarm goes off at seven o'clock every morning, even at the weekend. Although I sometimes ignore it at the weekend and I very, very occasionally turn it off at the weekend. Yeah, if you get up at seven every morning, 
pretty soon your body will be telling you at 10 half 10 every night it's bedtime time for sleepies In the last month i've completely abandoned any schedule i had i now sleep when i'm tired and do awake things when i am oh uh, i could i don't think i could live like that I've never really had the opportunity to live like that. I went straight from um, school, pretty much, into being a parent. So, getting up early is something I've always had to do. I've never really had the option to live a live a live the schedule of a student. Why is it easier to ruin your sleep schedule than it is to fix it again? I don't think it is. I've never ruined mine. Oh no, that's our season ruined. Ivanov's out for ages. What are we going to do without him? He's only scored four league goals, actually. So maybe we don't need him as much as I think we do. He says, there's not really anyone else who's getting any goals for us, is there? I wake up at 5.30 every day. Usually I'm in bed by 10 every night. Because my body tells me bedtime and starts to shut down. Exactly. Easy peasy. I hope we can take on light. Nah, no point in taking him on trial. My springer wakes me up at seven. Wouldn't let Dave get away with that. I ignore my body if it tells me to go to bed. Why? Bed's great. Whatever you're doing, it'd be much better in the morning when you're fully awake, surely. I'm trying to force myself to get up a bit early in the morning. Now I have stuff to look forward to. That's the spirit. I don't sleep until four, wake up at 12. The joys of leaving high school. But, I don't know, what's the point? I've never really got that. Certainly at this time of year, you're going to be going to bed just as the sun's coming up. And then most of your sleep is going to be in daylight. What? I don't get it. Why, why would you want that? I don't understand. Just sleep at night. <laughs> Doctor once told me it's better to set bedtime alarms and be consistent with that than to set morning alarms when training your body clock. Interesting. Never tried that. But like I say, never really had the option to... I've certainly never been able to do the staying up until the early hours of the morning sleep until lunchtime thing ever at night i can play fm in the morning there's work just get up earlier if you go to bed early you can get up earlier <laughs> i just watch youtube all night and don't realize i'm tired madness you know youtube's still there in the morning <laughs> sleeping too late in the day ruins the day nothing better than a lovely morning and everyone in a good mood because of that exactly why sleep at night when i can sleep at school goodness me goodness me when i was at school i would always be in bed at a reasonable time Always. I was a very good student. But I'm such an intelligent, well adjusted adult now. <laughs> I love the fact that you're not voluntarily watching an old man lecture you about going to bed at a reasonable hour. Well, you're here. You don't have to be here. You're here because you want to be. But I'm telling you to go to bed. At a reasonable hour. It's brilliant. Posture check. There we go. Found you on YouTube last week. Currently going through the Kettering Road to Glory series. Love the content. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Glad you're enjoying it. Best thumbnail face. I'm, I need to get better at thumbnails. I always forget to take them. Been here so long I don't feel I have an out anymore. It's true. 
I'm part of your routine. You're talking about not having a sleep routine, but you've got a having to watch Kev routine. I brighten up your days. Why have we not done that? Why is this changing midway through the season? You're not an old man, Kev. I'm 38 years old. That's pretty hard. I turn 39 next month, in fact. Month tomorrow is my 39th birthday. So does that mean leagues have just ticked over now? So theoretically, the game should start running a little quicker. Not that it's been slow so far. These ones still haven't left. But in fact, no, nothing's been added or left yet. But it's going to happen this month. This league, calendar year league, it is. It was never too old. Exactly. I didn't say I was too old, I just said I'm old. I am old, factually, definitely old. Not too old. What leagues are getting added? The big ones like England, Spain, France, Germany, Italy, Brazil, Argentina. The ones that will make sure it's nice and competitive when we get to the Champions League. The last thing we want is to get into the Champions League and the Belarusian League to be the biggest one in the world because it's the only one we've got loaded. Is the one we're playing in. When we get there, we want it to be hard. Ah, I pressed all the wrong buttons. There we go. Got to learn to press the right buttons, Kev. Come on now. Know very little about FM trying to get into a new game. Oh, FM is, is the one, unless you value having time to do other things, in which case, run away. Run away fast. I mean, for some context. Um, we're 1,690 hours in for FM21. FM20. In fact, I've now played more hours on FM21 than FM20. That is insane. And these numbers are always pretty high. How? How? How has that happened already? I know I did a little bit of holidaying at the start, but that's probably only accounts for a couple of hundred hours. Oh my God. I need to stop playing this game. Maybe we'll get Minecraft on after all. We're only halfway through. Oh, hold on. Twitch has just welcomed me to the chat room again. Thanks, Twitch. Thank you very much. I have streamed more. I've streamed a lot more. I've never streamed anywhere near this much before. I am really hungry. Is that Anna walking past with food? I had, um, I made a massive pot of corn ragu like 12 portions of it this afternoon and we had some of that for dinner and it was all right but it was not very filling and now i want more food give me more food give me more food hydrate of course we'll hydrate What can I eat? Might have a signing players problem. The window's just opened. 10 players just walked in the door. I still have 150k in the transfer kitty. 20k budget left in the Hungarian first division. I mean, I would say, yeah, you do have a problem. You're not signing enough players. Hey, they're rookie numbers, son. Oh, dear. Come on, let's do a football. Let's all do a football. Let's all do a football. That's what they chant at football matches, isn't it? I'm sure, I've heard that. You are in back. Annie, thank you very much. Boys and girls, you want to see what I bought today? What else I bought when I was in B&M? I got myself a grass head. Do you, want, do you want me to do build my grass head on stream? 
I thought it was just going to be a plant pot and a ball of mud with grass in. Oh no, this thing contains four paint pots, a paintbrush, the bag with the mud and stuff in, one packet of seeds, one plant pot, one tube of glue, two wiggly eyes, one stocking, one stencil, two ears, and some instructions. I'm going to have a grass head. Grass head. We just got to go while I was looking at all that. I'll buy less toys. That's not a toy. That's a plant. And I said I needed more plants. So I got myself a new plant. It's a grass head. But wind. Ah, even Kev, great to have you back. Thank you very much. Glad everything got sorted after your stress yesterday. Oh, oh, yesterday. <laughs> Should I start singing? Yesterday, all my troubles seemed so far. Well, in fact, they didn't seem far away. They seemed right there, right there, like immediately in my face. Paul McCartney doesn't understand. He never has. Man's out of touch. Kev, when you've won the streaming showdown 10 times, so in four months' time, are you just going to give up as it shows the rest of the competitors are just amateurs compared to me? I mean, let's not pretend I've not already shown how much better I am than everybody else. For as long as they keep giving me 500 quid every time I win, I'm not going to stop winning it. Which reminds me, if they paid me this time for the most recent one, I don't know if they have yet. I lose track. I win it so much. I lose track of whether they've paid me or not. Where's my 500 quid? Who's winning the Euros? France. Should we go through the predictor? We'll do that after this game, I think. We've got to get some Euros content in. And clip it out and make it a YouTube video then. That can be the thing that gets me over 100,000 subs. Look, Kev did real football content. There wasn't a prize. Yeah, there was a prize. It was definitely a £500 prize. What's the best predictor to use? And we'll do that after this game. I'd quite like a match-by-match -match one, and we're going to use the sticker book to help me judge. They haven't paid you, it's because they still claim it's the Clates era. Uh, the UEFA one. Does the UEFA one go match by match? Or do I have to just choose who's going to be where in what group? Because I'd like to go match by match in order. I think that would be a fun way to do it. Play to the showdown because they say Clates is still the champion. Yeah, they, they're, they're loving it. They're not going to change that for me. Is there a match by match one, or do we have to do the one on the UA for website? Has, has anyone done a match by match one? There must be one. Check Max Rushton on Twitter. He got a good match by match one. He's a Cambridge fan, though, isn't he? I don't really want to go to his Twitter. I don't want to give him the satisfaction. Ugh. Ugh. I'm really going to have to go through his Twitter waiting for it. How long ago was it that you did it? How far back have I got to go? We'll just do the UEFA one. UEFA Euros predictor. Predictor. Right, and we're going to do this. I'll explain it in a minute. I'm going, to, I'm going to be cutting this out as a YouTube video, I think. Is that the tournament predictor? Okay. So we're going to have to turn the music off. I don't have to behave myself. I'm going to do this as a video.
but this will appear on youtube probably on friday when, when's the first match 8 p.m friday so this will come out probably 4 p.m friday instead of a born video i need my sticker album for it this is spur of the moment content creation we're doing right here boys and girls we do need the fan on though I was almost going to hit start recording. I don't need to start. What I do need to do is make a note of the time. So this is at 20.45. I can go back in and cut this out. Oh, content creation. That's what we're doing, boys and girls. You're seeing how the sausage is made. Did you want to see how my sausage... What? <laughs> the Rushton one would be better. Well, no one's giving me a link for it. Give me the link and I'll do that one. There's a match-by-match -match one on the UEFA website. Where, though? Where though? Match predictor. So does this, does this one? Okay, so it does go. Yeah, this is the one then. This is absolutely the one. This is the one we want to do. We're there. We've got what we wanted. Right, boys and girls, we have made our way to the UEFA website after much discussion on stream about whether we were going to do the match predictor on here or the tournament predictor. We're doing match predictor. And I mean, you know, I don't really know anything about football. I'm going to turn popular predictions off because I don't want to know. We're going to be combining the match predictor and my now complete sticker album. As you can see, my sticker album is completely complete because I'm a hero. And we're going to be uh, picking the winners for each match based on who ha which teams have the most players that I've recognized. And that's how we're going to do it. So, this actually, you know what? This is going to be more complicated doing it on here. Because we'll figure it out. So, Italy. I know Donnarumma. I know all about Donnarumma. I know Benucci. A Serbia I've had in a showdown. I know, like, obviously Italy are winning. So do I have to pick an individual scoreline? I ain't signing in. Ugh, no, we're not doing this. We're going to play the other one as a guest. I'm going to do the other one. It'll be quicker. We'll do this one. Boys and girls, tournament predictor time. Um, we are going to be using my sticker album, my now completed sticker album in conjunction with the UEFA tournament predictor. And this is where you're going to find out who is going to win the Euros based on players that Kev, who doesn't watch any football, has heard of. I'm recording this on Twitch. So my Twitch streams... Everyone in the Twitch chat, say hello. Say hello, Twitch chat. They can't see you. I'm probably editing this bit out, but it, it lets them feel involved. you got to let them, you got to let them keep involved when you do stuff like this on a Twitch stream. So Group A. Look at it. Group A. So we've got Italy. Who else have we got in Group A? Switzerland, Turkey, and Wales? Wales. I've heard of Wales. So, players I've heard of that are in the sticker book. Now, I know these aren't the actual squads, um, but Italy, we've got Donnarumma, Acerbi, Bonucci, Chiellini, Emerson, we're up to five, Florenzi, I think I've had him in a showdown, Jorginho, Pellegrini's one of my showdown heroes. Verratti, Bellotti. I mean, this is going to be Italy winning this group. Um, who else have I heard of? Immobile is up to 11. Insigni and Kit. There's 13 players in the Italy squad that I've heard of. I mean, this is solid stuff. Switzerland, this is going to be harder. Switzerland. Umbabu, I know him. I've had him in a stream of showdown as well. Uh, Shakiri. Good job, I don't have to tell you who they play for. Granite Xhaka. Mbolo. Foot, football manager, wonder kid. I know all about football. I know all about Mbolo. And that's it. So there's four players in the Switzerland squad that. I mean, this is poor, isn't it? Only four. Turkey. 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 Well. Sayunchu at Leicester from the beta this year. Uh, oh dear, Under from Leicester in the beta this year. Two. Two players in the Turkey squad I've heard of. And then Wales. This might be Wales' opportunity. Was it, Did we have four for Switzerland? 
So I need, I need to have heard of more than four Wales players and they're going to come out of the group, which probably isn't what's going to happen. So I know of Wayne Hennessy. Um, Chris Gunter, I feel like I've heard of. Uh, Nico Williams, we had him at Arsenal. Joe Allen. Ethan Ampadu. Um, Daniel James is six. Aaron Ramsey, seven. Bale is eight. There you go. Kiefer Moore is nine. So we're going Italy. Italy, then Wales. Then Switzerland. Then Turkey. Do we agree with that? Are we thinking are we thinking that's potentially how that could end up? Probably not. Are Wales going to be second in that group? I don't know how good Switzerland or Turkey are. So group B. First up, we've got Belgium. I should know a lot of these. I should know all of these. One, two, three. So, Courtois, Mignolet, Alderweireld, Boyata, Castagna, Moynier, Vertonghen, De Bruyne, Pret, um, Tielemans, we're up to 10 already, Witzel, um, Batshuay, um, Carrasco, Doku, Hazard, Tother Hazard, Lukaku, Mertens, 18 players in Belgium. No one's getting anywhere near that. 18 players in the Belgian squad. Denmark, we've got Schmeichel, Christensen. Yeah, we've not got many of these. Was, Dolberg, Wonder Kid. Obviously, we've got Wonder Kid, Dolberg. Paulsen, five in the Denmark squad. <laughs> um, and then Finland. How many have we got in the Finland squad? I've not heard of many of these at all. Is there any of these that I've ever heard of? I'm having to turn the book around because I can't read the names on their side. Um, Tim Sparv, I feel like I've heard of. Timo Pukki, because he was good on FIFA last year. So there's two of them. And then Russia. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Uh, Cherishev I had on FIFA as well. Um, Russia are going to be bottom of this group, I think. Yeah, one in the Russia squad. So we've got Russia bottom. And then was it Finland? Denmark, Belgium. I think that's how we got this group. Does that make sense? We're going to pick up the pace a little bit because I realise you can't see the sticker book. Um, So Austria, we've got David Alaba, I know of him. Um, they really got a Baumgartlinger and a Baumgartner. They're very similar names. I've not heard of either of them. Um, Anatovic is two. There's two in the Austria squad. <laughs> My current football knowledge is pathetic. Like, properly pathetic. pathetic. Netherlands, there must be loads of these. Krull, Ake, Blint, Delit, De Vridge, Van Dijk, Big Verge. You should get two points. De Jong. Stengs. We had him on Twitch before. Van der Beek. Wijnaldum. Babel. How is Ryan ba Ryan Babel's older than me. Ryan Babel is definitely older than me. Um, Luke De Jong. Memphis Depay. Lots in Belgium. I haven't kept count there. Macedonia. I think it's safe to say I won't have heard of any of these. Well, <laughs> we're having a little look. But, yeah. None of them. Oh, hold on. Goran Pandev. I feel like I've heard of him. So there's one from Macedonia, or North Macedonia, shall I say. Um, and then Ukraine, we've got... This is ridiculous. Well. None. So, Ukraine go bottom. Then North Macedonia, Austria, Netherlands. See, we're getting somewhere now. We are getting somewhere. So, Group D. Croatia. Levakovic. This could be actually quite close between Croatia and Scotland, potentially. Um, Lovren. Um, Vesalka. I don't know how to say his name, but I've signed him before. Badelj, again, same criteria. I've signed him before. Kovacic, Modric. Um, Perisic, seven. 
Got seven at Croatia. Czech Republic. I feel like there won't be many here. Um, no, I don't know any of these, I don't think. Czech Republic. Nope. None of them. The Czech Republic finishing bottom. England, I've heard of all of them. Because I've watched the last two friendlies. I've officially heard of all of them. So they're automatically top of the group. And then Scotland. So Marshall. Is Craig Gordon still playing for Scotland? He is as old as I am. How is Craig Gordon still in this sticker book? For two. Five goalkeepers so far. Robertson, Tierney. Forrest. Um, McTominay. Fraser and McBurney. So that got us to eight. So I think Scotland just pipped. I think we had seven for Croatia, didn't we? So that's how we've got Group D working out. Ho, 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 ho. Um, poor old Croatia. Poor old Croatia. Um, and then we've got Group E. So Poland, Spain, Sweden, Slovakia, Poland. Um, Szczesny and Fabianski. I know both of them. So that's two. I'm really big on goalkeepers, apparently. Um, Glick is three. And then... Yep, Lewandowski is four. Milik is five. Five for Poland. Spain, I should know a lot. Of, oh, it's Slovakia next in the book. Um, so Slovakia, we've got very little. Uh, Skrnia, one. Um, Hamsik is two. And that's it. So that's two for Slovakia. How many did we have? How many did we have for Poland? This is where I'm relying on the live chat. This is why we had to record this live. We had two for Slovakia. I think we had four for Poland. Spain. Um, Simon De Gea. Carvajal. Gaia. Garcia. Navas. Torres. Ramos. We've got everyone so far. Um, Olmo. Coke. Rodri. Busquets, Thiago, Fati, Morata, we're up to 15. Um, and then Ferran Torres is 16, so 16 for Spain. And then Sweden, we've got um, not many. Wow, I thought I would know some Swedish players. Lindelof, or apparently he's got a middle name now. I never knew he had a middle name. I'm learning things. Victor Nielsen Lindelof, apparently. Last time I signed him, he was just Victor Lindelof. Uh, Forsberg. Se again, Sebastian Larsson. He's nearly as old as I am. How is he in here? I mean, he's born 1985. He's like 35 years old. That's absurd. And Isaac is four. This is quite a tight group. Why is Kev doing it based on the players he knows and has heard of? How else do you want me to judge it? So we've got Spain top. And then I think we had Poland. Sweden, Slovakia. And I think Sweden and Poland were drawn. So Sweden are definitely going to be one of the teams that goes through. And then Group F. I should have learned, I should have heard of lots of these. This is going to be interesting. So France. Loris, Mandanda, Digne, Hernandez, Longley. Upacamano, Varane, Kamavinga, Kante, Nzonzi, Pogba, Rabio, Sissoko, Komen, Giroud, Griezmann, Martial, and Bappe. So we've got 18 for France. And then we've got for Germany, Neuer, Leno, Ginter, um, Cock, just because I wanted to say it, Rudiger, Tar, Brandt, Can. Chan, Draxler, Goretzka, Gundogan, Havertz, Kimmich, Kimmich, Kroos, Gnabry, Sané, Werder. So 17 for Germany. And then Hungary. They, uh, nope. Nope. And then, finally... Portugal. Patricio, Lopez, Cancelo, Fonte, Semedo. 
Diaz, Silva, Fernandez, um, Moutinho, Sanchez. It's at 10 now. Neves, Jota, some fella called Ronaldo, Felix. That's 14. So that's Portugal third. Ch the Chesnians are in. So we're going France, Germany, Portugal, Hungary. Oh. Oh, welcome, Chesnians. We're predicting Euro 2020 because I am a football expert. We're doing it based on my Euro 2020 sticker album. So I think we have to say Portugal will be through as well. Do we need four? Who else had we heard of a lot of players for? Um, Croatia, I think, were hard done by. And then toss a coin. Could be any of this. Let's say Switzerland. Right. Now we lose the sticker book. Who's going to win out of Belgium and Sweden? Well, we know loads more Belgian players, so definitely Belgium. Italy beat Austria. France beat Switzerland. Scotland beat Poland. Spain beat Croatia. <sighs> what is this? What is this? Um, Germany are beating England. Oh, oh dear. Scotland are staying in longer than England. Um... You know what? I think Netherlands beat Portugal there. And then Wales beat Denmark. <laughs> Both Wales and Scotland staying in it longer than England. We won't be able to leave our houses in England. Can you imagine? Um, so, Belgium beat Italy. France beat Scotland. Spain beat Germany. And Netherlands beat Wales. And then I think France beat Belgium. Spain beat the Netherlands, then France win. Boom. There you go. Easy. Easy. That is how the Euros are going to go. Um, I am kind of wish I hadn't bothered getting myself an England car kit thing now. Because we're only going to be in it like two weeks. Never mind, eh? Um, tell me why I'm wrong. I mean, do, is there genuinely people in the chat now who think England are going to beat Germany if that's the way it lines up? You ever watched an England game before? Whew. Right, let's get back into some football manager, shall we? I mean, in all seriousness, what are you changing on this? Because if England beat Germany, they then lose to Spain. I mean, look at that as a potential route for England. Got to beat Germany, then Spain, then the Netherlands, then France. You remember the World Cup, right? When the first time we played against a half-decent team, we got knocked out of it. Do people not remember that? <laughs> oh, we've got Cultaholic raiding us as well. Thank you very much to the Cultaholic, whoever it was, streaming. Who, who's streaming on Cultaholic today? Welcome along. Um, this, I'm just, this is both Ches, Ches, the Chesnians and the, and the Cultaholicans are all going to see me saying England are getting knocked out in the round of 16 and now everyone thinks I'm evil, but in all seriousness, they are, aren't they? They just are. Nothing any of you can do about it. These are the worst predictions I've seen. Right, Jack Nolson, tell me where I'm wrong. Should we get Jack on to tell us all about it? I tell, tell me where I'm wrong. <laughs> Would love to know where I'm wrong. <laughs> Scotland and Wales. What, you don't think they're getting out of their groups? I mean, the groups were very scientifically done. We spent a lot of time on the groups. I mean, you could potentially swap those two around. And then have Scotland come through that way. And you probably do that and have Wales come through that way. If we're doing actual predictions, and then I guess Russia are going to be there. These are my actual predictions now. I don't know how good Austria and Ukraine are. Um, I think this probably happens. So these are actual predictions based on having absolutely no knowledge. <laughs> um, uh, 
I feel like that's still right. So then you have them and let's say them. So let's redo the round of 16. So Belgium beat Poland, Italy beat Austria, France beat Wales, England will beat Sweden. So we've got a different route now. Spain, Germany, Ooh. Portugal, Russia. And then I think Belgium win there, France win there. Let's say Sp Spain, Portugal. And then, I mean, I'm still getting to a, a France-Spain final. I get there either way. I just don't see it any way that England get past the quarterfinals. There's no way it happens. Spain are going to be terrible. I refer you back to my sticker album, Mike, where I think you'll find Spain have got loads of people I've heard of. So on that basis they're going to be all right there's not a chance that's going to be a youtube video i'll be i'll look back at that tomorrow with a clear head and think this would be the worst youtube video i've ever made and then i won't release it but it was fun making it we had a fun few minutes yeah are there actually anyone out there who thinks england could win it because you're mental, if that's the case. How are we all doing anyway? I know we got a couple of raids while we were doing all those shenanigans. If any of you are from the raids and did stick around for the football manager, we're managing in Belarus. Specifically, we are now into the top league in Belarus. This is our first full season. We got promoted last year. We made it to the cup final as well, and we lost it. Um, but we are trying to qualify for Europe. It's going to be a tall order, but we're going to try. Foolish flight. Thank you very much for the stu for the stub. For the sub and the stub. No chance England wins it. I'm hoping for a decent run though. I think the decent run is going to be the group games after we've lost on Sunday. I think we'll probably win the next two. Go through in second. And then who does that leave us with in the quarters, did we say? Or in the round of 16, Sweden. So you lot are saying Spain are no good. Well, Spain are still getting through their group. But let's say we put Portugal there and Germany come through that way. What difference does that make? So now we've got Belgium, Italy, Portugal, England. See, this way we just lose to Portugal. Uh, so now we've got... that's. I mean, this is probably the most interesting tournament we've had so far. I like this one. Because... Well, I feel like we could potentially beat Portugal. Of everyone we've seen, Portugal are bottlers like we are. So we could just as easily beat Portugal. Um, Probably Belgium. And then you get France there and Germany. See, this is the only way it happens. That is the only way England win. If we hit... I mean, and that's so unlikely. So unlikely. There's your England win. That's not going to happen, is it? Because we lose there. We probably lose there. There's a good chance we lose there. <laughs> um, and then you perhaps get that. Maybe. But the only way we win is by finishing second in our group. If we if we top that group, there's no combination. Because if you top the group, you face a team from this group, don't you? So if we top that group, is it second place in that group we face? Does that give us France? Yeah. So regardless, however this group turns out, if we top our group... We've got to play Portugal, France or Germany. We get knocked out. So the only way we get a run is by losing on Sunday to Croatia. And coming through in second place. And then we face second from this group. And second from that group is going to be Sweden or Poland. And either way, we should be able to beat them. So if we finish second in our group, we can get to the quarterfinals. 
at which point we lose. But that's the only way. What happens if England come third? Good question. Unlikely, but good question. Um, so let's just do that. So if England are third, Spain. Boom. So that's top of that group. Is it? Top of that group. Yeah. So basically we need to finish second in our group. So if Southgate engineers are we playing the best the team we lost against in the final? Are we playing them in the first round of the cup now? Ooh. Well, that feels unnecessary. We're not getting through to the cup final this time, are we? We're getting knocked out in the second round. Um, but yeah, if Southgate engineers a tactical defeat on Sunday, it's all part of the plan, boys and girls. All part of the plan. Uh, Tim Jacko, thank you very much for the sub. Which I missed when it first came through. So, those of you who are English now understand that we have to cheer for Croatia on Sunday. If we beat Croatia, it's a disaster. What a wonderful world. See, you want, you want Euros content on my channel, don't you? That's what you're going to get. Is that going to be the clickbait video that gets me to 100k subs? What am I on right now? Should we go and have a look at the channel? I need to have any subs I'm on. So we're currently on. So Lulujo. We need 300 subs. If I put out a clickbait video saying why England have to lose on Sunday, will that get me 300 subs? Imagine wanting England to not beat Scotland if it's a win versus Croatia. I know. just make a second youtube account for you i mean i'm not going to be upset if any of you did that if everybody here now registered a brand new google account and then subscribed to my youtube channel i'd hit a hundred thousand subscribers live on stream in the next 10 minutes i'm just saying i'm not saying you should do that i'm saying if that were to happen we would hit a hundred thousand subscribers before the stream ends this evening <laughs> Just saying. Now you've seen me rehearse my predictions video, I might actually do a better version of it using the sticker album. Set up a camera so that we've got the album being done as well. I might actually do that video properly tomorrow. Maybe. If I, can be, if I think it'll be any good, I'm not sure. That first version was rubbish. Thank you for sticking around while I did it. It wasn't very good. If Scotland beat England, I think my mum will never let me near her. It never let me hear the end of it for another 10 years at least. Nice. I must have access to my wife's, my in-laws, Gmail accounts. Make it happen. Is Dave still getting more views on TikTok than me? I mean, by a factor of like 500. That TikTok of Dave at this point, trying to find it. Um... Did we just score? Of course we didn't. Because we're rubbish now. The one of Dave's had 450,000 views. My next best is like 10,000. And most of them are less than 1,000. Just watching the vlog. Glad you got both Sky and Broadband sorted. I'm actually proud to work for Openreach. We've got an Openreach hero in, boys and girls. Another one done. Subscribed on three accounts. Oh, imagine. Imagine if we did it. It's a shame you can't get real-time subscriber counts on um, Social Blade anymore. So the actual current number is 99,715. So we need another 285 subs to hit 100k. We've got 285 subs that we can find from somewhere. Where'd you buy subs from? Let's go and buy some subs. Someone, someone from Ask Zealand, where'd you buy subs from? Uh, 
Touch and hold a clip to pin it. Unpinned clips will be deleted after an hour. What? Don't we, what, are you, what are you saying to me there? I'm confused. Um, We're losing. Have you set up a celebration when you hit 100k? Yeah, I'll do a hot tub stream. If we hit, if we hit it by the end of this stream, I'll go and buy a paddling pool at B&M tomorrow. And over the week, at Sunday night stream, I'll be in my paddling pool. That'll be my celebration. <laughs> but we have to hit it by 10 o'clock tonight. We need to do that. Oh, what is going on? All this talk of 100,000 subs and now it's all gone wrong. Sunday night, Kev, hot tub stream, cheering on Croatia. Well, the England game is an afternoon kickoff, isn't it? I could do an England watch along from my hot tub. <laughs> oh, God. Give me an interesting save idea until FM22 comes out. Do what I did for this save. Load up a load of leagues you've never managed in before. Start unemployed and see what happens. Need to do an Ellis plea on Twitter for the final 300. How long was he spamming for? The difference is Ellis has got loads of YouTubey friends. I don't really. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Dr. Benji retweeting me asking? Bear in mind he's also only a couple of thousand subs away. Can you imagine him retweeting to get people to follow me? Not gonna happen. No one's doing that for me. No one likes me. I'm the mill wall of the FM community. No one likes me. Don't forget your pen to write names on my arm. I've got a Sharpie. Write them on my leg. I don't know if I can reach my own leg. I'm sure, Dr. Ben. I guarantee he wouldn't. Ben isn't even subscribed to me himself. <laughs> Plus, I quite like the idea of doing it organically by just cheating the system with you lot. I did it on my own with no help! You're not sub to Zealand. Um, I think I am. I might not be. Am I? Oh no, I'm logged in as Lelujo Live at the moment. If I was logged in on my main channel, I think I'm sub to Zealand. I don't watch anything on this Lelujo Live channel. The recommended page on that would be a mess. you bully Ben into doing it on the next stream of showdown he'll just say no and then not let me in he's got all the power when it comes to stream of showdown I already subbed to Ben I subbed to Ben years ago I was probably subscribed to, I say probably I was definitely I was subscribed to Ben before I started the channel might actually get something out of this game you know three two now we are getting there it's a lovely finish come on boys keep going we're just giving away a penalty i mean we're just getting back into the game and we give away a penalty i ask you right live sub count we're now on 99,722 you do the maths 200 and I said you do it. God, what are you making me do maths for? <laughs> We're so close. There are still more people watching than subs we need. It's like when I put the poll on the community page saying, has anyone got any friends who can subscribe? And it was an overwhelming no. <laughs> That's what's literally happening now. We're all sat there thinking, oh, I'm not going to use my second Google account to serve. It won't make a difference. 
Unless you all do it, then it will make a difference. Very sad. YouTube link. It's I've now finally got youtube.com slash Lelujo. I finally dropped the FM. YouTube.com slash Lelujo. Um, we're losing now. We're losing. Bunch of flipping losers is what we are. Come on, boys and girls. What would I rather have? 100,000 subs or a 6 5 win in this game? We'll see. Subbed on my other two accounts. Heroes, the lot of you. If we don't win this game, you all have to go and sub again. They're the rules. Oh, dear. I don't even know if this team are any good. Dastrix, thank you for the bits. Who are we playing? Team directly below us in the league. How are they doing this to us? The wheels have come off. The wheels are well and truly off. Come along now. Let's do a football. Just now. Cup final run it has. I have eight accounts. I've subbed on all of them. I mean, this is heroic behavior. We're now on 99,729. So we are getting there. We're getting there. Everyone, go knock on your next door neighbor's door. Say, have I got a YouTube channel for you? <laughs> knock on your neighbor's door. Can I just borrow your phone? Can I quickly borrow your phone? It's an emergency broken my phone i've got to make a phone call it's an emergency and then just go onto their youtube and sub to me and hand the phone back and say you know what it wasn't an emergency after all it's fine don't worry about it emergency's passed <laughs> oh you're all given permission now between now and the next match go and knock on your neighbor's door and do that <laughs> Kev, you're the only person I'm sub to on the school email account. That's brilliant. I've just subbed on three accounts, Kev. Time to get the paddling pool ready for Sunday. How about my next door neighbour? Done that. Genuinely have done that. Plus, uh, the two open reach guys and the sky guy from yesterday, they're all subbed. Do you actually think I let people in my house without subbing to my channel? Come on now. Uh, latest score is 99,739. So we've added 10 more since I last checked. Oh, we're getting close. Oh. Ah. Turn it off my grandma's account. This is amazing. I'm tempted to go live on YouTube for a few minutes just to, just to say sub to me. Sub to me. Sub to me. See how many people do. Because it's a really ridiculous thing, and I know you hear YouTube say stuff like YouTubers say stuff like this all the time. But the absurd thing is, of everyone who's watched one of my videos in the last month, and bearing in mind all of my videos in the last month have been part 110 of a series. So they're obviously watching all my videos, but 36% of the people who've watched videos on my channel in the last month are not subscribed. And I only need 200 of them. That's on like. What's that, 800,000 views? Maybe not that many this month. That's a lot of views, anyway. A lot of people. A lot of people who aren't subscribed. You could just subscribe. Imagine if you're getting all of us to sub, then you find out Anna isn't even subbed. Anna would have been, like, the fifth sub on the channel. I would have subscribed with all my other YouTube accounts first. Every Gmail account I've got would have been in my first 10 subs. And then it would be, like, Anna, Sheepdog... Just everyone I know. I'll 
gift five subs of Kev hits 100k tonight. Right, I'm just gonna sit here registering Gmail accounts. Ninety-nine thousand seven hundred and forty-six. We're closing in on being only two hundred and fifty away. <gasps> ah! Once we get to within two hundred and fifty, I might tweet it and say we're we're pushing for it. We're going to do it. We're going to make it happen. I'm not joking, by the way. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm going to tweet now. A little, let's be a little bit creative with the truth. Still searching for prongles. Only 250 subs away from 100k on YouTube. Everyone watching the stream right now wants it to happen while I'm live for the reaction. So, have we got. 250 people with wives, girlfriends, uncles who haven't subbed yet, who can make everyone super duper happy. I should probably put the, uh, so what is it? It's I think this is the direct sub link yeah only 250 subs away from 100k on youtube everyone watching the stream right now wants it to happen while i'm live for the reaction so have we got 250 people with wives girlfriends uncles you haven't subbed yet you can make everyone super duper happy okay you sure i'm subscribed just before it reaches 100k oh you scumbags and i know some of you will as well Guarantee some of you will. Because I remember when I hit 100k on my other ch on my other channel, um, you have that 24 hour period or so where everyone's just being a wang. So you keep going back and forth above and below it for a little while. Unless you absolutely smash past it. You hit 100 and then it goes back down again. And then you hit it again and it goes back down again. Where there's genuinely a group of people who are just playing with my emotions. <laughs> oh god I hate everyone the youtube link under the stream goes for 404 not fan that's because i've changed the url i should probably fix that because it used to be slash delusio fm and then it's just recently changed to slash delusio has andy subbed through andy's eyes is subbed definitely 99,761. <laughs> okay, I've subbed with my dad, mum, my other account. I guess my granddad and grandma need a Google account as well now. Yeah, everyone does. <laughs> oh dear. The things we do. This is this is my job. This is ridiculous. Is robotic Kev sub? He damn straight he is. What do you think this is? You think I haven't got those bases covered? <laughs> About this hitting 100k subs, will you take full responsibility for me if I email everyone at my school to sub to you on the school email system? Yeah, absolutely. Blame me, that's fine. It gets to 10 p.m. and you're on like 99,995. Will I stay online um, until three minutes past 10, maybe? If it looks like it's going to happen. I'm not going to stay on till midnight with all of you unsubbing and resubbing. Just a mess with me. <laughs> Panther, thank you very much for the sub. Come on, let's win a football match as well while all, this, while all these shenanigans are going on. We should probably win a football match or two. Ninety nine thousand seven hundred and sixty three. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. I can't cope. I can't cope. 
Kevy Tuplax is moments away from being a reality, potentially. Can you live in a world of Kevy Tuplax? So if I get detentions, I'll just tell them to send them to Kevin Chapman. Yes, do that. That's fine. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? I'll do a detention. I'll write lines. What are they going to do? Come at me. <laughs> oh, dear. What a ridiculous situation we find ourselves in, boys and girls. I love the fact that you all care as well. Has he got, a, has he got blue stubble? What is the situation with this gentleman? Or blue stubble? How odd. He's grey, is it? How old is he? So he's 32. Like gingery hair and grey stubble. I know I've got grey in my beard. But I haven't got grey stubble. Right, now we're in July. The league should have updated as well. Yeah, so we're now down to just the neighbouring nations and then the big nations. So this should start running like a dream. It's a fresh cut stubble, it happens to me. What, you have grey stubble when it's fresh cut? That's awesome. Managed to get five more subs from Discord. Hey! Hey! hey. 99,771! Ah! 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 Come on! Come on now! <laughs> oh my word. What I'll do if we hit it tonight, once I finish on Twitch, I'll go live very briefly on YouTube to say we did it. Hooray! Should I shout out my window to the people of Boston? Yeah, do it. Absolutely do it. No, there's no real-time sub counter. The only way you can see it is on my analytics. Then you get a fancy YouTube award for 100k. You get another one of these. I've got one for my vlog channel there. You can't really see it. Hold on. Where's the other angle? You can't see it on that one either. You can see the bottom half of it there. You can see the side of it on that one. But you get one of them. So I'll be Kevy Tuplax. We didn't win the cup, I'm afraid. No. Create a new account called Sub to Kevin. Can't you overlay the counter onto the screen? Do you think I'm smart enough to do that, Scotty? Shall we try and work that out? Let's work that out together, shall we? So... If I put that like that, I might be able to do this actually. Let's see if I can figure it out. Ah oh, no, what have I done there? Um. I am going to figure it out. I'm just not very smart when it comes to OBS. I'm really handsome, but not very smart when it comes to OBS. So, what I want is... I want display capture. I don't want the whole display to capture like that. No, I want... I want part of the... That, that's not what I want. That's not right. Let's remove that. We're sort of along the right lines. So we want... <laughs> I don't know. I want to be able to capture a little bit of the display. Window capture. This might be it. We make that window so it's just that. 
Doesn't that do the job? Okay. This might be it. I mean, it's a really clunky way to have done it. And then I can crop that, can't I? So I can now crop that. Got to be a quicker way to do that. No, too far. There you go. I mean, that is properly clunky. And I th is there a way to have it automatically refresh? Ah! And when you refresh, it's in the wrong place. You know what? I'm not going to bother. It's too hard. It's too hard. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. It's that looks awful. I'm such an amateur. I don't deserve 100,000 subs. Oh, it's so complicated. <laughs> oh, dear. Social Blade has a live sub counter. It doesn't, though. It's only accurate to what is shown publicly, and YouTube rounds it to the nearest 100 now. So Social Blade would show me when I tipped over to 100, but it wouldn't show us how close we were to doing it. It would just go from 99,900 and then hit 100k. Right, at least we've got a match on. Shall I try this again? Right. James, thank you very much for the sub. Right. So... We need to do window capture, but then change the crop. So, crop. Now like that, and then like... And now, when I refresh, Theoretically, he's only gone and done it. <coughs> Brilliant. We got there. Should be able to click on live sub count. Where does live sub count show? I don't even know where I'd look for that. Um, oh, there we go. See live count. Oh, okay. This is the thing that I want. Right. I need to take off the crop. And work out where we are. This is what we want. This is exactly what we want. We want to put that like that. And then. So you can actually see it changing now. So we'll add some crop along the bottom. And then we'll have a little crop on the right as well. So that is now a live sub count. That was far too much work. What's the score? 1-1. One, one. You don't know the score anymore. So of course, I've put it in the most stupid place you could ever put it. And I've cropped it like that. Right, hold on. We can fix it so you can see the score. I should probably do that. It's the least I can do. So. Where the hell has it gone? All this trouble, we're not even going to hit it tonight, are we? That's the thing. All this faffing about. 
Right, hold on. Now we can make it a bit smaller. Stick it down there or something for now. Is that a good spot for it? Out of the way. There we go, boys and girls. <laughs> um, NP Raven, thank you very much for the sub. Someone just unsubscribe! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, no. Now what have I done? So above the face cam. Everyone's unsubscribing now to mess with me. Oh, that makes me so sad. You're just testing if it works. <laughs> it's going to help him get to 100k, but his cropping skills are subpar. Hey, we're back up to... Hey! Just watch that number. Come on now. This is all we want. We want to see that number keep going up. Boo! <laughs> we'll just full screen it. Boo -hoo -hoo. Oh my God, what's happening? This was a bad idea. Everything's just got worse. As you can see, update in real time. Oh God, stop it, you swines. What is happening? I hate you all. Oh God. Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm not going to react to each one. Because you're just playing with me now, you bumheads. <laughs> hey, new high. Oh God. Oh God. No! Oh, I hate everything. You are all monsters. Oh, no! Oh, God. I hate it. Oh, for goodness sake. Ugh. I'm going to be back behind Ben at this rate. <laughs> now so many people are messing with me. We could have enough people to be at 100. But we'll never know because you'll never all be subbed at the same time. Oh, what have I created here? Made a rod for my own back. You <laughs> say so new high, but I think the crop game was a new low. I know. Oh. <laughs> So, in summary, the real-time sub count was the worst idea we ever had. Oh, all I can see is that number now. It's messing with me. Let's see what's happening on Twitter. Let's see how many people have gone out of their way to help me out. No creators, that's how many. None. Oh, Mr. Diz and Tom of them. See, we know who the we know who the the proper creators are. Mr. Dears and Tom FM are the two. Bless them. Thank you to both of them. Everyone else, scum. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, let's get into the 99.8s. Then we know how close we're getting. There's got to be five more that we can drag in from somewhere. Go and drag them off the streets. Tomathan pronounced like Tomathan. Like, yeah, Tomathan, exactly. We just won 4 1, by the way. I'm just going to stir up my 188 subscribers. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's a new high! stole my fiance's ipad and subscribed does that help absolutely it helps yes everybody do it oh look we're getting close oh can you imagine the reaction when we actually get there the box isn't big enough to show 100k when we get there it's gonna be such an anti-climax when we get there because i've cropped it so far it'll just it'll just be um hash symbols like on xl oh yeah it'll say zero <laughs> hey, we're only 200 away now. Come on. 
<laughs> this is content. 200 to go. Where can I find 200 people in 15 minutes? Oh, it's all gone. It's all gone wrong. I mean, I'm just putting it out there. There's 400 people here. Oh. My wife still insists she doesn't want to pander to men, men being stupid on the internet to try and entertain themselves by subscribing. Accurate, but this is super fun. Oh, tell her she'd really like me. It's not even pandering. If she just gave me a chance, she'd like me. Your heart rate will go through the roof when you hit 100,000. I mean, that won't necessarily be a bad thing with the beta blockers and the blood thinners that I'm on now. My heart rate sitting in this chair is like 55. It's terrifyingly low for me. A month ago, it was I'd sit here and it'd be about 85. Yeah, Anna subscribed. She was one of the first to subscribe. She was probably the first person, not me, who subscribed. We're staring at a number like when GameStop and Dogecoin were shooting up. I know. Ridiculous, really, isn't it? So I can guarantee if we get there tonight, we'll have dropped back down again by the morning. Benno, how are you doing? Thank you for the raid. The raids are happening everywhere tonight. If you've just joined us from Benno's stream, we're trying to get to 100,000 YouTube subscribers tonight. The number above my head is where we are, 99,802. So if you, if there's 200, if you've got 200 friends, are you subscribed to my friends and channels? You're a monster. We're trying to hit 100k tonight, Anna. That's a new high, 99,806. We've not been there before. I'm not giving if you are if, if you're from the raid and you've never seen me before you don't know who i am i'm giving you no reason to subscribe other than the fact we want that number to get a little bit bigger i promise you the content isn't always just looking at a number but if that's what floats your boat subscribe for that oh new high come on no we've dropped back down again people are messing with me again Mm. that's what fm is that is a very good point my wife subscribed to get me to shut up about it thank you mrs cobbler sean I'm, I'm assuming you watch on the tv in the living room and she's she's watching along you watch together as a family Do a post on the vlog community page saying you'll do a video they all subscribe to the Lujo. That's an incredible shout. You know what? I'm not going to quite do that. But posting to the vlog community page is possibly the best idea anyone's had all evening. Because we've been there, done that on the vlog. Serves on my football manager channel. I'm streaming right now, and everyone wants to see my reaction. React, learn to type, Kev. Reaction when we hit it. Who wants to help us all out and drop? sub we need less than 200 pretty pretty please please and then we need to drop the url which is bit dot bit dot ly slash sub lelujo
see if that makes a difference oh blimey we've added loads since since um since i posted that yeah that's what did it Let's make sure that goes to the right place yep 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 yep, yep, yep. come on who's helping me out on twitter now Oh, 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 oh. Make the ticker bigger so we can see it tick over. It feels like tempting fate, but I do understand that it's probably a good idea. So, there you go should see it tick over on there now if it happens tonight i'm responsible for half of them oh look how close we're getting ah i am excited for the euros although we've sat there running a detailed analysis earlier on the stream realizing that england aren't making it past the quarterfinals regardless what happens our only hope is to lose on Sunday to Croatia. Got to lose on Sunday, finish second. And that way we can at least get to the quarters. How's my evening? My evening is lovely. Winning the group's a disaster, which means we'll do it. We'll win the group comfortably and get battered. Oh, we're trying to sign a player. I'm up for that. If you get that Euros video out, you'll get to 100k tomorrow. But yeah, we're going to get there tonight superficially with all these accounts that will all unsubscribe tomorrow just so you can see the initial celebration we'll get there properly tomorrow over euros video 180 to go my wife doesn't know she's just subscribed but i think i may know about it when the 11 a.m notification comes out Hooray! <laughs> uh should we all go and put, comment on that post to push it yes please yes please do that Yeah, validate it. Get the algorithm to push its eyes off. TikTok it. I don't really have any enough TikTok followers. I don't think there's anyone who follows me on TikTok who doesn't already follow me on YouTube. I've only got 5,000 TikTok followers. Getting into the hype or remaining grounded. It's coming home or disappointment is coming home. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Kev doing a Euros video. I might do one. Instagram's a good shout. Do a story on Instagram. Right. Um, how'd you flip the... I'm such a granddad. How'd you flip the camera? Instagram story. Boys and girls, we are so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers on my Football Manager YouTube channel. I'm streaming live on Twitch right now. We're trying to get there tonight. We want to get there tonight while everyone can watch it happening. If you don't already follow me, it's youtube.com slash Delujo. Please. Should I be really clever and add a swipe up? Because I'm proper flash in it. Um... There you go, we're adding a swipe up just to be fancy. There we go. Awesome. Don't stop streaming till you hit it. Only if we've got less than 100 to go by 10. We've got six minutes to get to 99.9. I'm not staying here for hours. We've been 300 away all week. I'm not staying here for hours to do it. It needs to be done by a reasonable time. Who would you do a Euro 2020 FM save just for the tournament? Probably not, because everyone else has already done it. I don't think the swipe up work. Never mind, it works now. But yeah, it has to be fully up uploaded first. The momentum is building. <laughs> Let's play another football match while we wait. Take my mind off it. Shouldn't have added a swipe up. Insta won't push it because it directs you away. 
is that so? See, I don't really understand Instagram. I need an Instagram coach. Stay on for one more hour. Oh, that seems like a long time. Seems like a very long time. <laughs> Plus the subs are slowing down. Look, the momentum stopped. That hasn't moved for a minute. It's all gone. The dream is dead. The dream is dead. It's over. We had a dream and it's over now. It's all done. Not going to happen. Hey, it's back. The dream is alive. It's over. It's done. Momentum's dead. It's stopped. We're finished. I want my 300 points for participating in a raid. I want my 100,000 subscribers participating in a YouTube. We all want something tonight. It's me. Get a fleet out. Now, I've got some standards. I'm not going to do a fleet. What do you think this is? Oh, sit up straight. Posture. Hydration. See, I'm behaving myself. I always feel like I'm on an emotional roller coaster when watching death. <laughs> I need 10 minutes of passion. I am demanding more. More. I'm encouraging. What else do I have to do? Should I berate? Go onto Facebook and just start effing and jeffing at them. I'm logging into Facebook for the first time in a year. Just tell all you swine bags to get over there and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, come on now. We're so close. It won't be the same if it happens overnight. Want it to happen. Want it to happen while I'm here to react to it. I might just go live on YouTube at 10 and beg over there. Would that be more or less effective? I don't really know. What do you reckon? We should do a poll. Should I go should I switch and go and go live on YouTube? Because then people who normally watch me might come in and subscribe straight away. Oh, hey. Oh, look at that little surge we got. Oof. Oof. A little surge. Bring Dave in. That gets more subscribers. <laughs> Do it. I'm not doing a TikTok. Do a vine. Wish I could do a vine. Loved vine. Vine was great. Hundred thousand subscriber gets free prongles. I'm not made of prongles. Ah. We're losing it. Get people to retweet. There's no retweet. No, there's no people. People, people don't like me. <laughs> Just need Gary Lineker to retweet and then we're fine. Why isn't Gary Lineker retweeting? Hundred thousand subscribers. It's a Ray Bentos pie. Uh, we bought one of them the other day. Anna wanted one. Our tin opener is so rubbish it couldn't even open it. There's a new category. There's tinner, not tinner. Can't get, even get the tin open. And that's the category we fell into. We have something called a magic tin opener that's supposed to make opening tins really easy. Cannot get into a Frey Bentos pie. YouTube one. Um, we'll we'll end the stream over here as normal then, and then we'll jump on YouTube. Tag out of context FM. He'll surely help you. I've told him off so many times. He's not going to help me. What the new tins are ring pull now, not the ones in B&M. Right, boys and girls, we're going to wrap up our Twitch stream here. And I'm just going to jump over and go live on YouTube. This is where it doesn't work. Guarantee it won't work, but I'm going to try to go live on YouTube. Um, just to see if we can get there tonight. I'll only be on there for like half an hour. Um, I am going to raid somebody now, though, because that's what you have to do. But don't stick around and watch them. <laughs> gonna raid them but don't watch them 
Oh, I can't raid. Hold on, I need to open a different thing. So, quit, quit, twitch.tv. Um, let's raid Jack because then we can, then you lot can all work on Jack, getting him to retweet me. Jack got me all those subs back in the day. Jack can help me out again now. We're back here seven o'clock tomorrow night, folks, for more Football Manager. Um, and hopefully I'll be doing that as a, as Kevy two plaques. But for now, I'll see you on here. I'll be on YouTube in like five minutes, if that. Toodle pip. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now. For now. <laughs>